All right. Now... I don't want nobody to not believe me here, okay? Let me let me rephrase that. You need to believe me. So I went live on Twitch and we loaded up a completely random game. Everything was random. Everything was completely randomized. And this is the start that I that I managed to get. This <laughs> Oh my god. We set literally every possible thing in the game to random. Somebody clip it. Show us your mods. We set everything to random using the Got Lakes map script. Hold it, we can maybe regenerate it. Apocalypse mode is on. Uh, we just have like some basic mods here. We just went random. Potatoes. A dollar two. Zero zero have two bucks, mate. Um, <laughs> wait, do, uh, should I do webcam today? I didn't get a chance to redo my shelf, so no webcam today. Okay. It's all just being a gamer. Thank you, Callus. Cassowary for the two dollars and Kirby Larivier. Thank you as well. Uh, so this is pretty obviously a Temple of Artemis game. <laughs> so we're probably going to want to get an early slinger. Now, where do we settle? That's a real question that we're going to have to answer here. Uh, but yeah. Welcome, welcome, St. Patrick's Day. Thank you so much, Arctic $5. Remix. 50 thoughts on playing huge maps. It's the only way I play. Uh, we're currently playing on a huge map, I've actually. Noticed it's not popular. Huge maps are just, you know, the game, it's, you know, the game takes longer. Um, I really want to settle near a spice. I could settle on a spice. Oh, man, this is such a legendary Temple of Artemis here. Might as well drop a sub for this start. Honestly, I might change my thumbnail. Because <laughs> it was supposed to be about chaos mode, but holy shit, Batman. How was your trip, Potato? It was amazing. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Um, so I'm tempted to move to the truffles. Yeah, I'm going to move to the truffles. Boom. Settle truffles, get that three gold per turn. Boom. Uh, and then we get exploring ideally we would get a slinger here at some point but i think we go straight animal husbandry and just go builder because canada actually doesn't get a benefit from that but if we could get maybe oh, we could also rush a pantheon if we could get the camp pantheon oh man we're gonna have so much early gold we, we need to get to the spices. We need to get to the spices ASAP. Buy the spices? Yeah, yeah. We will be buying it, but we don't have the cash yet. We're gonna, we're gonna take our time here. Nice little bit of open terrain here. Boom, boom. Do kind of get extra... Oh, yeah, there it is. Camps provide plus two food. Yeah, so it's gotta be a builder rush this game. Like, absolutely just makes sense. Oh, okay. A little bit of a lake. A little fresh water. It's nice. Nice to have. Uh, looking forward to the inevitable flame that will burn through my lance. It'll start soon, I bet. Potato, you sound so much like Pedro Pascal. Do I? I didn't. I don't think so. But I mean, everyone says I look like him, which I'm okay with. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, why are they so cheap? Because we're playing Canada. Of course. Of course these are cheap. My god. I didn't realize the Canada bought tiles for cheaper. Oh, we found Cardiff. No we found horses. Very cool. Some horses over here. Horses, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and disable the builder lens. 
Now, we've managed to get ourselves a builder as our opening move. We could go for a slinger to try and fish for Temple of Artemis. Maybe killing a barb. The Bar Barbarian clan. So I think we will go for the slinger because if we can get the... If we can get Temple of Artemis, this game just starts to pop off. That's the thing. That's the, that's the thing about this. Um, where is the Temple of Artemis going? I don't know yet. I know something... Well, let's do this. Um, let's research all the basics. We'll get mining next. Be able to chop woods and stuff. Builder is an extremely greedy opener, but I think in this case, for these yields, it's worth it. That is just gross, dude. Are there barbs? There, there should be barbs. Barbarian clans mode is on. Oh. Five fertilized tiles, a dead population. Uh, you know, could be worse. We could just repair this. It's like, okay. That's rough. That's part of playing Apocalypse, man. You're going to get, you're going to hit hard. How do you use the custom overlap tool? This thing? Love a blizzard ruffle. You press four on the settler thing and you hold down control. When you have the uh, more lenses mod. My builder! Fuck. It's an honor to meet you. Exchange information. Okay, he's over here. All right, pretty good. Pretty close. Love your stuff. Thank you, Trisha. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. It is not wisdom. God King, we want that faith. I was kind of hoping for faith from the uh, thing. Oh, hey, state workforce. We can get that early government plaza. Would you like to buy truffles? Let me see. Can, can I use this gold to buy a builder? This will get me to a builder a lot quicker if I do this deal. So I will do that deal. Right, this is the Slinger. This is how we find the Temple of Artemis, is going hunting with the Slinger. Um, I feel like a builder is just such a high return on investment, but we absolutely need to get settlers now. Um, the lack of scouts is painful, but hey. What's today's concept? Today's concept is we just we, we went completely random, and then this is the game that we got. Uh, that is today's concept. Okay, pottery, cheap. Might find the tech we're looking for. Might find the droids we're looking for. Please, okay. There we go. Oh, baby. Hire an archer? No, 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 no. Buy a builder next turn. All right, we need to bring the warrior over to fight this fight. Take a few minutes to heal up. Yes, I know, I know. I'm awesome, thank you. I appreciate it, but I guess the storm got a Twitch integration. There's so many games I want to play. So many. I forgot to buy the builder. Whoops. Wasn't paying attention. Making mistakes. Chaos mode. You never know if I'm gonna play well or play poorly. Uh alright, let's get these truffles online. It's a good truffle tile. Alright, feeling good about that. All right, we should be able to take this on now. No man ever will. Slap him once. Okay, Step forward and attack him. He should fortify, or at the very least, he shouldn't be able to kill this guy because he's like super weakened now. 
He might actually kill us. If he does, I'll just uh, cut the live stream and, and redo it. <laughs> That's the kind of guy I am. Alright, get that kill. Boom. Knowledge of archery is boosted. So we know where archery is. And there it is. Perfect. Temple of Artemis will be on the way. It'll take nine turns to get here. We're under attack, potentially. Um, we do need to get the second settler, though, I think. Oh, God, the whole map can flood. I didn't see that. I think heading up here feels really good to me. Uh, let's raid for gold. Let's take the promotion. Attack. Step this way. Step this way. Yeah, the Giga Flood will be coming this game. Which is terrifying. Because it is an apocalypse mode. So the flood should happen sooner than you would think. Attack. And clear. So that's two barbs killed, which will, you know, if we kill one more, we will reveal thingy. Ooh, here's a great tile to improve. Go ahead and get over there, my friends. Can you build flood barriers on a landlocked city? Yes, yes, you can. Believe it or not. Um, this is starting to become a little, little bit of a problem. I'm worried about the counterattack. Right, so now we do this, and then this should be a kill. Perfect. There's bronze working. We are in control. We are assuming control of the vehicle. Could hire an archer. Would rather buy builders, honestly, considering how much return on investment they are. Yo, el presidente Simon Bolivar, os What's the chaos mode defined by? It's just an option standard in the game. It's just like I loaded up a mod and set everything to random, and then this is the map that we got. It's insane. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy start. Uh, disperse, level up, of course. Claim this. Settle right here. Uh, make the warriors and stuff so we're gonna have to play pretty military focused in the early game also free builder somehow i don't know where i got that free builder from honestly uh tribal village maybe camp camp i would say we're, we're kind of coming out even um liang why did we want Liang? Somebody said get Liang. I don't see why. We want Pingala. We could also go Magnus and chop the hell out of this. Could be fun. A lot of chops here. A lot of chops in the capital. We could chop the forest and then play, plant camps. Still pretty good. Early Empire. Oh, there we go. There's the Settler card we're looking for. Oh, Liang for protection. Ooh. Ooh. Might not be a bad idea. One, two, three, four, five. So that's in range to get cleared for three error score. Um, let's hold off on chopping. We're going to start doing a little bit of chopping. Start the Temple of Artemis soon. Um, let's do the... Uh, well, we got to wait for the Pantheon before we can switch over. Your delegation is most welcome, good sir. I shot an arrow into There's the Temple of Artemis, so we want to start that ASAP. Um, so in two turns, we'll start shopping. Do I buy another builder? Don't see a reason not to. Tech-wise, it would be good to find iron. It's like a useful resource we could sell to the AI. No luxuries to spare. That's okay. Let's get the friendship with Chandragupta, actually. 
That way we can be good buddies and he won't kill us. Um, mm. Let's go ahead and wait a turn before we blast these woods. We're going to have to deal with a little bit of a rebellion here. That's okay. We can we can we can clear this. Boom. Get that little bit of error score and then start moving over that way. I hit delegation, not friend. Whoops. Uh friendship. Thank you. All right. Where do we want the Temple of Artemis? Let me just like let me do a scan. For resources, boom, boom, boom. I want to see all the deer, all the sheep, all the truffles, all the spices, and all the horses. And then we want to get a range finder for... Right? What, wait, what is it again? Four tiles. City overlap, range of four. Oh, yeah. Right there. No, right there. What about right here? We lose two. Oh yeah, right there. This is the spot right here. This thing. Now what if we put it here? It's not as good. It's not as good. Yeah, right there. That's it, right beside the capital. Uh, all right, let's start chopping. Now we don't want to chop the deer. We want to chop the woods because we can still put camps if the deer are still there. So there's the settler. Temple of Artemis. Uh, we forgot to put a camp down on this tile. That's okay. We can make this work. We're going to need a warrior anyway to help retake this city. And this guy wants to co become an archer too. Like, delayed by a turn. Well, really, we should delay it by two turns. In a perfect world, we would also chop this, but I'm going to live without that. Temple of Artemis, go. Uh, camp. Let's also... God, I need to wait a turn before I chop, because I need to get my Pantheon up. You're going here. How long? Eight turns. All right. Has there ever been an Irish leader in Civ games? Technically... There probably has been, depending on how you want to count it, but not really. Uh, Temple of Artemis, 16 turns. Let me see. Temple of Artemis, Temple of Artemis, Temple of Artemis, 16 turns. What are we doing again? We are chopping for this. We have the faith for a pantheon now. We change this over to classical wonder. We chop the woods. Boom. Chop there too. Chop th these woods. Boom. Pantheon. Caps, 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 caps. No. Oh, yes! Look at that. Thank you very much. Look at that. <clears throat> Did you sound either very sick or hungover? I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. Look at that. Chop again. One turn, Temple of Artemis. Feeling good. Absolutely cracked out of our mind here, lads. When I saw the house of oh, baby, plus what amenity on everything. Oh, look at that, plus four amenities. We just need a couple more. Uh, what if I drop another camp? Boom, plus five amenities. We get a plus five amenities, turn 45, Temple of Artemis. Oh, this is cracked. Absolutely cracked.
insanity. Um, get the monument, of course, because we want the borders to continue to expand. Bronze working is finished. Go for writing next. This archer is almost healed up. We're going to delay settling. Unless we can get like one more era score or something. Construct a holy site. Construct an encampment. I believe nobody's actually gone for a religion this game. Could be a good game to go for some holy sites. Are these three units might be enough to retake the city. When the time comes. Wasn't really much point in settling the city, to be honest with you. Um, that's the thing about uh, Rise and the, the Dramatic Ages mode. Alright. Two turns. Can I get one more era score? Hmm. I need need two error score. I don't have galley tech, so I can't buy a galley. Unlucky. Can't do horse units. Don't have iron working, can't make a swordsman. There's not enough time for a manny. A manny would have been the play, I think. Had I gotten early empire a little bit sooner. But she's still a pretty good play if I put pop her into Cardiff for error score next era. Uh, oh well. Settle a different continent? Nope. Not available, sadly. Um, we would like to get the government plaza fairly early here. But let's real quick get a builder. We'll delay that settle until next turn. Unlucky that we just were one error score off. Oh well. Writing. Oh well. Oh well. Wait, where did that go to 25? Hold on. Does your first scout give error score? No. Hold on. I want to check something. It went to 25. It should have went to 24. But it went to 25. You got one for the Tundra Settle. Yes. But it went from 23 to 25. Do you understand my issue there? You chose the sunny ways, Wilfred Laurie. Yeah, okay. I'm not crazy. It went to 25 for some reason that I don't understand. Okay. It said 20. Yeah. One for writing research. That's right. Thank you. From the first stirrings of so can anyone explain to us what's this chaos mode? We basically loaded up a mod that allows you to completely randomize every setting in the game. And that's what we did. Every setting was completely random. Or chaos mode. Um, anything that increases the RNG of the game, that's what we activated. You chose the sunny ways, Wilfred Laurier, and made cheerful. Right, lovely. The world has entered into the classical era. We got writing. Blast you. Attack you. Kill there. We can retake Victoria. Go ahead and pop that down there. 
Right, Hamilton. Go on and get me a monument. No, it wasn't settled near a volcano, guys. It was the... We finished attack. That's what happened. Let's get astrology. I think it would be fun to found a religion this game if we could at all go for it. So this is flipping to me in nine turns. I think I'd like to get it sooner than that. Uh, builder. Builder. Let's have a little think. A little thinky think. About where the government plaza is going to go. It would be nice to get the government plaza now. There's definitely a theatre square going here. If there's a theatre square going here. There's probably a government plaza. Going there. Because it's a plus four then. So that seems okay to me. Which means these are choppable tiles. Which means we can chop out settlers. It took a hit. Fortify. Shoot the city. I wish that warrior wasn't in the city. He's making my life a little bit harder. Um... Right, what do we got here? Cardiff. We have Amani going there. Let's take Venice. We'll put a point in there. Switch to settler production. Boom. Oh, you want me to go for Colosseum this game? Oh, I guess. 15 months already. You are awesome. I guess theoretically, actually, there is a really nice Colosseum here. Which opens up even more Theatre Square gameplay. Like so. Yeah, I like it. Hits a decent number of cities. It's like pretty decent. Potatoes. I like it. It's a cool plan. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I like seeing you happy. Thank you so much. Um, Aoife Karaslan. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the trying money. And thank you for being a member of the channel. I appreciate you. And Ace Coolest, thank you for being a Twitch primer. Any primers in chat? Can I get a primer or two? Chop. There's got to be a few. Sadly right, plus two air score, very nice. You right now, but I will AFK with your stream on having a St. Patrick's Day. I like seeing you happy. Thank you so much. All tundra tiles, yes. The entire map somehow managed to roll tundra. God damn it, go away, Scout. Being annoying. Um. Go away. Okay, the warrior killed himself on me. And we can retake Victoria. Keep that city. Perfect. Uh, go ahead and get that monument. We need to get builders over there. Oh my god, the gifted subs. Thank you so much. Or no, sorry. CJB, Enk, D is Dad, and Juliet Fox. Thank you so much for the primes. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. You're the best. We'll do a little St. Patrick's Day here. Um, I want to go east with this guy, but I'm scared. And so I will bring an archer with me. Because I do need to get three archers this game to boost crossbow. Um, where is drama and poetry? Yeah, we will go for drama and poetry here. Because I'd like to get my, my theater squares down. Um, let's get another builder or two. Keep this empire churning along. A little open border agreement, sure. Oh yeah, this is a real good Artemis location. Oh my god, more. Son of the last panda for the prime. Thank you. You're the best. Around. Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. It's my first time watching your stream. Thank you so much. Nick Noodle with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. You're the best. I appreciate you. Um, you're all the best. 
the person who most recently donated is the best, okay? It's King of the Hill. That's how, the, that's how it works. <laughs> Potato, why no face cam? You are one handsome man. Uh, I forgo... Well, you know, I was meant to redo my backdrop. And uh, I forgo her. And so I'm just, I'm going face camless today. We're just, we're doing a little, we'll do a little chilling. Uh, I would like another builder. You. Uh, where is plantation tech? There we go. Get irrigation. I want to go holy sites. I think I do. Well, maybe I'll skip holy sites. I would like faith this game. Faith is pretty useful. I'd forgot. Nice one. Um, yeah, go here. We want to settle that fresh water. The juicy, juicy fresh water. Um, I think we can chop this woods. Boom. And then we can improve the true filet. There might be a lack of luxuries if everything is tundra. That's true. But the good news is we have Temple of Artemis and we're going to go for... That's an eagle. Let's get our own eagle to counter eagle. Let's settle this city. What? Shoot him. You jerk. And shoot him. It was great to see in the Civ developer live stream. Thank you so much. First time chatter. Avery Artemis, thank you so much for your first time chat. I've uh, watched your videos for a while. Follow the game on Emperor. Thanks for all the content. Thank you for all the content. Hey, Paul J's. My guinea pigs are a little potato. That's why I'm here. Hey, we love potatoes in this stream. Uh, Son of Last Panda, Irish leader when? Unfortunately, I don't think there will be an Irish leader for Civ. Uh, for Civ for a very, very long time. It does make me sad. Um, I don't think there'll be a Civ 6 Irish leader. There should be, okay? But they probably have like the demographics of who plays their games and like who they should do. Um, can I be king of the forest? Yes, Ira Bai, you can be king of the forest. You are more than welcome to hold that title. We get a little kill. Uh, we have another builder. This one's going to head out to Quebec. Quebec. <gasps> oh, Jesus. It's a lot of crap. Now. Let's go ahead and buy the government plaza. And we would also like to get a nuther settler. Although maybe we will take the time to grab ourselves a archer. The double river? Yeah, the double the double river is uh you yeah, know. Right, nothing really out this way, so I'll just loop this guy around. Maybe we'll find a tribal village or two. Get the pasture up. Feels good. A little two two tile. Everyone loves a little two two tile from time to time. From tile to tile, am I right? Shoot this guy. Oh, it's time to appease the gods. No volcanoes in my land, so uh, the gods will just have to remain unappeased and unopposed. Because we don't have any faith. What are we doing? That's going to be one happy capital. This is a very happy capital. Although we do need to get more happiness in here because we're starting to outgrow the total amount of amenities that we have. The capital is like... stonkin. There was a volcano next to the city-state. There was. There's a couple down here, but, you know. Listen. Don't question my infinite wisdom, all right? Do I see a natural wonder in the top left? Oh. Nope. I don't think so. I'm only human. Chop. Hey, there's India. Very nice. Renju, thank you so much. Hey, Potato, been watching your content for a while. It's been helping my progress in my gameplay. Thank you. First time watching you live also. Thank you for being a first time viewer, man. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. 
you're the best around. Nothing's ever going to keep you down. Try to bait with this archer. You're going there. Just get ready with the plantation. Hey, thank you so much. Going thank you, Mr. Roxa. You're out, thank you. That's the most exploitative way to do that. Oh, what is this? A city's reached 10 population, plus 2 era score. And we got irrigation, and we got drama and poetry. Oh, it's all popping off now. Um, where is... Oh, there's games and recreation. Oh, Jesus, come on. That's just cheating. We have a golden age secured, which means we can expand willy-nilly. Um, yeah, for sure, this is where we drop down the theater square. Um, we would also like to drop our government plaza. Where, though? That's the thing. Where? Where does it fit? What does it mean? I think I could put it over here. I don't think it matters where it goes. As long as it doesn't crush a camp. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to chop. And then one turn it. So, if I remember correctly, on the city overlap, if I go to range... Uh, how do I... City overlap range, and I hover over this, I can settle here or here. And I think I'd like to settle there. Let's make that happen. Irrigation is done. Our science is a little weak, but we're fine. Um, you're ready for a promotion. Promotion seller, I need your strongest promotions. The philosophical government plaza. Could be, could be. He's kind of moving in my direction, I don't like that. I'm not comfortable with that. India needs to uh, get a little bit of chill. Alright, nice, there is Gumma Plaza, Changsha Gupta. Eat your heart out. That's good, it's good, 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 good. We'll get the theater square now. Uh, we have chopped here, we pop down that plantation. I pop down that camp. Uh, what do we got going on over here? We definitely need more builders up here. That's what we need. But... Are we human? Uh, we got a money. I think it makes sense to go for Liang. Put her into Victoria for now. Oh man, this land just keeps getting better. I would like to settle a city down here just to be within Colosseum range. Um, there's like potentially two cities in here that can fit inside Colosseum range, which is two culture, two amenities. That's really high, high yield. It's a good return on investment. We should also consider buying our trade route if we have not yet already researched foreign trade. Uh, monument completed in Hamilton. We would like to get this theater square, so we'll just get to work on a builder. Like, it's builder time, baby. It's builder time now time. Anyone else making great writers? Yes, yeah, someone else is. Okay, probably Russia in the game, which uh, does not bode well for me. I'm going to be real with you. It's going to make my life real hard. Boom. What is your pantheon? I, got, I went for camp pantheon. The good one. Oh, potentially free builders. Hopefully he moves in a way that I can take advantage of that. That's a horse. Okay, this is like the, the mountain tunnel to the dwarven mountain home. Okay, the barb camp is cleared and I yoinked the builder. Free builder. Hey, I'll take it. Um, so I need you to be in defensive terrain. It's probably better if you kill the barbarian horse archer first, because that thing can hurt you without taking damage, which is a worst case scenario for a unit that wants to defend. Uh, 
Can someone catch me up? What's going on? Uh, believe it or not, the stream can be rewound. And you can play it at 2x speed to catch up. It's actually a legal move. Totally legal. You can do it. Oh, a hanging gardens move? No, 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 no. We won't do that. We will get more settlers, though. Uh, because we've cleared out this area here. That's what I do. If I ever miss the start of a live stream, I just re- Oh! One, two... Ah, oh, he can't get me. Wait, no! Yes, he can! Shit! Damn it. I got hoisted. He might not? Oh, beautiful. Now, ain't that beautiful? That's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. It's a lot of barbs. Um, I'd love to find their camp so I could hire one. A little scary that we got to deal with all this crap. Um... It'd be good to get horseback riding, I think. I think I could make a horseman or two here work. Bong, 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 bong. Oh, man. They're going deep. What your mom said? That's what your mother said to me. Come on, buddy. What do you what do you what do you think you're doing? You think you could beat me? I am the Barb King, okay? I was born in the Barb lands. Barbs be raging? This ain't no Pastures? Do they get better pastures? Camps? No. Honestly, I think I'm better off just deleting this and then putting putting a mine here. And then farming the flatland. So yeah. I don't think pastures are very good for Canada, because they don't get they don't get boosted. Call to action likes are the only likes that you give. Press like on the video, please. Please! My career depends upon it. If you don't press like, I won't make any money. I'll be broke. Do you want me to be broke? There you go. S tier manipulation tactics. Um, settler. Boom. We do a little settling. We do a little chopping. Warrior go. I want to find where this camp is. It'd be nice to kill it. I'm having fun killing units. Not my mom. Yes, your mom. Yes, your mother. He wants to buy, sell me iron. Um, don't really care. Ooh, one thing I could do. When wasteful. You delete one amenity from capital now? Heh. What are you talking about, my dude? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. The sheep? Oh, that's not a big deal. The 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 one amenity, not a big deal. I would rather have a four production mine than the amenity, honestly. Um that's at least my perspective on the game. And that's what I'm doing. Oh, we're appeasing the gods and we didn't care because we have no faith in this game. Sell off my pigs. I'm having a pig sale. We're doing a little pig sailing. Any pig sellers in chat? Uh, what about our city overlap? I'm trying to remember. I reckon we can settle a little city here. One, two, three. And we can settle another little city here. And then these. Should be in range. Of this. And that should be exactly what we want to do. 
Why don't you use the Civ Tech exploit where you can change cards at will instead of waiting for the next tech to complete? Um, because it's a lot more micromanagement than I want to do in my games. That's really all it comes down to. Are we almost done shopping in the capital? Not really. There's still a few shops here. So Magnus is staying put. Boom. Magnus, you exist for me. Boom. Get that monument. Monumentality. Hee hee. Let's appoint Pingala and put him into Quebec. Now, here's a fun mode. Uh, at the start of every era, everyone gets one nuke. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Oh, that would be really fun. Oh, man. Modders, get on it. I feel like that's my new phrase. It's like, modders, get to it. It's becoming a meme. Um, it would be nice to build the hanging gardens. Make it two. Granary. Still waiting for games and recreation. Would be good to get a granary because we are about to hit our growth limit. So we will quickly, we'll quickly grab that little granary. Get out of there. Archer, guard that tile. Plantation. And many of these are nice and high. We're getting the 20% curve. Why not thermo nukes? The nuke would get bigger as the game went on. I think that would be how you would do it. Like the early era, it's like a one tile nuke. Four dollars. Medieval era, you get a. Uh, 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 Is there any chance of another TSL? A seven okay. tile nuke. I started the Trajan TSL series from. AKA two one ago. range, one and radius. I'm enjoying it. Ludwig would be interesting. Uh, is there any chance of another TSL game? I started the Trajan TSL series from two towards ago, and I'm enjoying it. Ludwig would be interesting. Oh, I think I played that a long time ago. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Any chance of changing city spots to to spots out in the boonies? Think of Dingle, Bally Bunyan, and the like. Yeah, sure. Be like a Dingle, Bally Bunyan. Uh, ten obscure Irish towns. All right. We'll go with uh, the the town of Nobber. Then the town of Kilcock. Uh, this will be Bastard Town. Oh, messed that one up. Uh, and Fanny's Town. There we go. Lovely. Fanny's Town. Lovely. Muff? Uh, Muff will be the next city. Um, okay, so we got, uh, we got a little monument here. Let's get started on that theater square. Be good to get that granary too. We need builders. We need builders. So many builders. We need to improve our land. It's our land. Those are real names? Those are all real names. Every single one of these is a real town. No hour of life is wasted that is spent in the sand. Welcome to uh, Ireland. I'd like to get my amphitheater now. Culture would be nice. A Kilcock is quite nice. Kilcock is a lovely place. It's also your mom's hobby on the weekend. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, plantation up at the capital. Feeling good. Got it. We got a lot of stuff going on. Muff. Muff hard at work. Oh no! 
He's coming for my muff. Get out of here. Leave my muff alone. <laughs> Why is that so funny? It shouldn't be. Potato, how long have you been live? About an hour, actually. About an hour. Get away from me, Muff. Do you know the muff man? Who lives on Droopy Lane? Oh, Yosemite! Yosemite, rather? Not Yosemite. Please stop saying muff. <laughs> What's wrong? It's just a, it's the name of a city that I'm going to settle. No. What if I block here, maybe? What do you got wrong? I remember... Remember in school, one of the teachers was from Northern Ireland. <laughs> what was it? You go, not you go. It was you, something about the town of Muff. There was some question. Someone asked her, like, Miss, have you ever been to? Have you ever gone diving in Muff? <laughs> <laughs> I heard there's a great diving school up there. <laughs> it was something like that. Uh huh. Oh, those were classics. Please tell me everyone else did that if they had a teacher from the north. I couldn't, we can't have been the only ones to do that. There is a Muff Divers Club in Muff, yes. Yes, there is. Oh, I need to rename. There we go, Town of Muff. Um... Yeah, we should probably keep expanding while we can. Your people settle too close. Well, I'm sorry then. I'm sorry that my people just wanted to get a bit of feckin' land. It's all we wanted. A bit of land. I've got so much gold, actually. Why? We just wanted a bit of land for ourselves. Didn't realise I was asking too much. Sorry about that, chieftain. Um, let's put a couple of turns into a builder. I'm going to put a trader into muff. Bup, bup. I'm putting a trader into muff, 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 muff. Let's get a scout so we can scout. All that free westward expansion. Where is foodalism? Muff counter 12. <laughs> Every time you reference the muff counter, the counter goes up. It's recursive. Oh no. Ah, okay. We do a little camp right there. Look at that tile. Oh, Mwah, it's beautiful. We got a little, uh, little one of these bad boys. You know. Something to be said for a pretty good holy site plus three faith. Although all the religions are probably gone by now. Well, there's actually quite a few left, believe it or not. Maybe not build too many buildings before feudalism because of storms and stuff. Listen, you. Are you telling me how to do my job? Right? I I am a pro, pro, professional YouTube guy. And I will not be harangued. Or harassed, or harried, or even jawed. To be honest with you, even jawed. I don't want to get jawed. That's like, it's not cool. Uh, why don't you go ahead and trade with Dingle, uh, sister city to the Berry, and also Dangle. If I were again beginning my study. All right, there's mathematics. Um, yeah. How many deers do that city have? Uh, a lot. A lot. I love you, Daddy. I Only your mom is allowed to call me that. Um, uh, 
that lake wonder might not be too bad. It could be pretty decent, actually. Five dollars. Could be pretty good. Since potato since Patrick's Day stream is my favorite holiday meme tradition. Keep it up. No, you keep it up. Just like I'll keep it up. Your no, don't do it. It's too much. We're doing it too much now. Um, we do a little chop. We get the arena. I can actually just buy the arena and then immediately start the Colosseum of the Century right here. Oh, man. So how many cities are in range of this Colosseum? Let's do a city overlap. That's a seven-city Colosseum. Can I get a sheesh in chat? It could be an 8 city, actually. I think I can cram a city down here. That's an 8 city Colosseum. That's an 8 city Colosseum. Be a shame when India build it. Don't Pepe laugh me, Aaron Day. Do not, don't you dare. Is that more amenities than Artemis? I think it's a, around the same. Um, the world has entered into the medieval era. I'm in a golden age. India is in a dark age. And I'm stealing that city. Thanks for the free city. That's so poggers. That's so poggers. Again, I think I've said this before, but that's so poggers sounds like a Disney TV show. Like, that's so raven. That's so poggers. Um, let us plug in Corvi. There's so many things I want to plug in. Um, in particular, I'd love to go for political philosophy. In your head, in your chop. I am chopping with the chops and the... Will you go settle Yosemite? I probably will, eventually. Uh, city center buildings would be sweet. Friendship. I don't believe in friendship. I believe everyone should stay at home alone, never talk to another human being in your entire life. It's not worth it. All they do is cause you grief. Right? Be alone, live alone, die alone, okay? The Sigma lifestyle. Um, so wait, what actually passed? City centres and me. Perfect. Aware. Amen. <laughs> don't actually listen to me. Stop W-ing. That's not a W. That was a joke. Um, let's go for granaries. It's good. For, it's good to get the growth. You've got to get a little bit of growth. Um, mm -hmm. We don't need to change anything here. We'll do a little, do a little walk, 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 walk. <gasps> Your delegation is most welcome. Thank you. I love that we've honoured the Irish with this traditional city naming convention. I'm quite happy with it. We're just looking for look, this capital is fucking gross. Um, who needs women anyway? I like women. I think women are cool. They uh, they're just people. They can be funny. They have interesting life experiences. Uh. And, you know, if there's mutual attraction, it's fun to flirt and stuff. That's, you know, it's all fun stuff. People take it too seriously. Listen, nobody cares if women don't like you, okay? Just be funny. And chill. And don't be weird. That's all you gotta do. Just don't be weird and pushy. You'll be fine. Do I build a holy site? Hot take, women are cool. Mmm. They're alright. That's like saying men are cool, which is like, I wouldn't agree with that. Just date men based. It's an option. Listen, women are dating each other. Why can't men date each other, right? Lots of people go off to college and experiment. Do, you do you, but try it out. You might like it. You might love it. You might hate it. Listen, it's like broccoli. If you never try it, how do you know? Um, we're just normal men. 
Oh yeah, I'll hire a swordsman. Skadoosh. Well, there are at least some women here. Yes. I actually have... A, there's a surprisingly large number of women who play Civ. Um, which I think is... So wheat. Um, I think it would be good if strategy games had more... CHF 20.00 Happy St. Patrick's Day Potato. Thank you, Christian Cans. I think it would be... for the great content. No, thank you for the great... Love to see you play Civ. Viewership. Appreciate you. I think it would be great if there were more... Diversity in Civ... Because that means a diverse number of moms to... No. Because, you know, the strategy genre is overrepresented by just like, you know, socially awkward white dudes. So I'm going to be... Let's just call a spade a spade, right? Look, it, it is what it is. We're not judging anyone. It's just that, that that is the stereotype. Um, Where Wingle? Listen. Wingle died... A painful death. While but he lives on in our hearts. Rome shall stand. All right, Colosseum is just done. That's two. F that's two culture and two amenities in all of my cities. We got autocracy. Let's go ahead and switch here to classical republic, and we're going to plug in urban planning. We're going to plug in settler card. We're going to plug in builder card. We're also going to go well. I think I'd rather go for the Builder card. I'm going to go for Diplomatic League. Boom. And then I can use that card to get Suzerainty of Nagazgar Gamu, which will give me information on the map based... Take over the map like a plague. Take over your mom like a plague. We got him, boys. Um, let's do a little... We do a little technologizing. Technologizing. Where do we go next? I think we go to eventually get to Monarchy here. Uh, but the Colosseum is super good. Let's go for Ancestral Hall. We will be going for a mass expansion phase here. There's a whole bunch of land we can take over. Boom and boom. Hopefully you don't die. If you do die, that's not the end of the world. It would be the end of me, though. I sent you the wrong way. Where feudalism? Um, That's a great question. There it is. I lost a unit. I'm crying. I'm not crying. You're crying. Theater Square completed in Nobber. Your mom's favorite city. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you speak Gaelish? I speak a little bit of Irish. Gaelic. Gaelga. A little bit. I just that one wasn't yeah I wasn't I wasn't actually ready for myself for that on that one listen city of muff ooh wait muff what are you doing right watermill watermill Vilnius taking it over bit of Potato, I'm, I'm trying to watch your stream not get absolutely destroyed. That's what your mom said. Ta biogin, ta biogin, biogin in Gwelga again. He has a small bit of Irish on him, which means he speaks a bit of Irish. Do you know the leather jacket guy from the Tri Channel? The guy who cheated on his wife? Or the... Is he the... Extremely handsome Asian guy? Wait, what happened here? What was I building? Wait, what was I building in the city? Are people expecting Potato to know every Irish person? I know every Irish person. What was I building in the capital? 
Ancestral Hall. Right, 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 right. Let's take provision on Magnus so we can settle out of here really heavily. Uh, I think I had her... I think I had her on mine too, but I remember she wasn't the only one who looked at SC2 for years now. Scarlet is the female pro player. Scarlet was really good at the game, if I remember correctly. Super good. Um, thank you for the five gifted subs. Anonymous Gifter. Templar of Atham, Hoopa 2, Maple B, Vulcan Otabas, and Lucy of Dragon. Based. Thank you so much. Hey, when stats, Keck? What a god spawn? Damn right. Uh, engineering. Keeper free city. Uh, keep. There we go. Plus two error score. Really nice. Monument. What a terrible city. But it's like, it's free. Can you turn your nose up at a free city? 99% chance we're all AI scripts. I mean, I'm, I would, I'd be okay with that. Personally. Um, if we live in the machine. You know, means we're immortal. This seems like a pretty good deal. Unless someone like turns off our programming. I mean, who would do that? Come on. Let's be real. Uh, uh, fire in the West. Oh shit. Uh Okay, we need to do a do We need to make a firewall. Chop all these tiles here. Do a fire break. I'm okay with this land going on fire, but I really don't want my capital to go on fire because that would just reset me so far back. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually okay with the capital going on fire. I'll live with it. I'm going to delay this build a return. Oh god, the fire. Oh, <laughs> run! <laughs> oh god. Uh, we need to start making fire breaks. Can fire erase deers? No, it just it just destroys the uh, tile improvement. Plus one error score. The feudalism. With the advance of feudalism... Oh man. Bastard Town's about to get just fucking shrecked, dude. Alright, how's Muff going? Muff's looking pretty good, actually. Do a little commercial hub. <laughs> yeah, I think we plant down this commercial. Uh, cancel it, then go straight for the theater square. We'll get to work on that. Grab you. Uh, any luxuries? Any great works? No writings available. Does he know what Muff is? The town of Muff in Northern Ireland? It's a town. I, th I don't know what you're talking about. You're being weird. Let's get a builder. Delete this camp. Rebuild it. Um, head to there. Is that where they invented muffins? Correct. You are correct. Uh, so we're going to ch chop. Not for the builder. We'll chop the settler 
settler come out to play eh? diplomatic quarter really I should put Pingala I really should just get the that builders going chop let's get this whole city reworked so we can put Pingala in here <laughs> amphitheater going online Me and your mom drinking wine. I heard most people are actually born for a month. A lot of Northern Irish in this channel. Um, okay. Recorded history. Perfect. Shall we go for guilds? Alright. Firebreak is a go. Might not be able to get much more. We'll see. Uh, builder from Dingle. The Dingle Builder. One might call it. We want this Diplo Quarter. If I plant it here, we make a fire break. Fire has to flow around instead. <laughs> It's also best placed adjacent to the city center. That's something worth considering. It would protect my Pingala if I put it here. I'm willing to lose a camp. It's okay, we got plenty. Um, we can lose a few. Why are the Tundra Forests burning? That's too much. Look! Set your course. It's part of the game, bro. Break this camp. Chop this. Buy the consulate. Buy the water mill. The capital city is just popping off, dude. Um, the fertilization has begun over here. <laughs> That's what I said to you. Nope. <clears throat> We've gone too far on that one. Um, boom. Unsee Temple of Artemis levels? Yeah, this is probably one of the best ones I've ever done. I'm thinking the theater square goes here, and then the commercial hub goes here. This is a two-pop city, so it needs a granary. We'll go ahead and get that granary. The city needs a builder. We'll get a builder over there eventually. Get that amphitheater up. We're good. We own Vilnius. I would like to be in control of Venice too. We'll see. One dollar and ninety-nine cents on recovering from surgery. You got back, Ackham. I'm recovering from surgery. You got no. I don't. I don't have that. Sorry. I'm not playing Gaul. I'm a British person watching a video of the Irish lands being consumed by fire, and I don't think this is allowed. We'll turn off the stream then. Just go away. Press X in the chat if you're British. I've lived through some. Um, chop. Everyone point and laugh at the British people <laughs> who just outed themselves. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh. You idiots. Never put your hand up. <laughs> Never reveal your nature. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, we got him good. All right, Connoisseur on Pingala. I got to do a few more chops before. Um, you know what? I think it's time. Now is the time. Now is the time to strike. We do a little dingling. We do a little dangling. No, I'm gonna wait one more turn. I got another chop in me. Put Pingala back in knobber. Favorite flavor of Tato. I like the cheese. I like the classic cheese and onion. I'm a big fan of. I I did. 
I did go through a phase where I really liked those, uh, where I was a really, really big fan of those, like, were they called sensations? It was something like that, anyway. The, the fancy crisps, right? Where they it was like roast chicken and rosemary, right? Where they they were crisps with notions, right? They thought they weren't just like fried potatoes. How is this on fire? I deleted the forest. No, I didn't get the forest there. But if I delete this forest, we make a natural break. Boom. Perfect. Uh, I was a big, big fan of like, oh, I used to love the buffalo flavor. I love, uh, what, what was a uh, hunky dory? Oh man, hunky dories back in the day where they were the uh, pickled sour cream and something. Oh, how many more cities are you planning to settle? As many as I can. Surely King over Tato. Uh, you know what? Listen, I want all the Irish people listening to this stream to just turn down the volume for the next like 50 seconds. <clears throat> okay, they got King crisps are better than Tato. Listen, I don't care what anyone says. They're just better. They're greasy. They're, they have that real umami flavor. They're very Moorish. Tato are okay, right? Tato are fine. They're, they're objectively fine. Man, King Crisp, they are banging. Free recon unit, nice. I don't care that those are British Crisps, okay? They're better. Create with the heart. Are we doing any preserving this game? Probably in my later cities. Probably these cities over here. I'll do uh, preserving. Uh, we should start planning for preserves, though, and ice hockey rings. My friend was talking about her daughter. Five about potatoes. The mom goes, boil a mash and put them in stew. I want you to know I thought of you before I thought of Lord of the Rings. Ah, perfect. The assimilation into the cultural consciousness is beginning. So we should start to plan for the ice hockey ring and our national parks. That's going to be part of the process here. It's going to be part of the process. So I think there's a really good national park right here. Okay. And if this is the national park, then it's pretty natural that there would be an ice hockey ring going here. And an ice hockey ring going here. Right. So that's this one handled. Now, the ice hockey ring, right, it gives you plus one culture for each adjacent tundra, tundra, hill, snow and snow hills, provides tourism from culture, once flight is unlocked, plus two food and plus two production, once you have professional sports, plus four culture, if adjacent to a stadium, can be built on tundra, tundra, hills, tundra, snow, snow hills, one per city, plus two appeal, very good. Very, very good, okay. Um, so these two spots are okay. Um, we probably want an ice hockey ring right here. It's a plus six right there. That's good. It'll be eventually be a plus ten. Um, sure, 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 sure. One here. One here. Split the difference with a national park. Feeling good. Oh. Oh, 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 Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So we're starting to plan some national parks here. This is like the beginning. In the beginning. The beginning. In the beginning. We need a Venetian arsenal. I don't know if we can get it. 
In the beginning, get me the aqueduct. Get yourself the granary and the monument, please. Oh, there's some nice camps here. Some very nice camps. Any campers in chat? Building Abmudson Scott Research Station for the meme? For the meme? You mean for the for the value in this particular game? What's the song? I can't. I can hear the melody, but I can't think of the song. Same. I can't think of the song. I can just think of the melody. That's like me and ninety nine percent of songs. I can just think of the melody. I can't think of the actual song itself. I only cap on Call of Duty these days. I've never, never actually been camping. I think it'd be fun. You go in the woods, be a wood guy. That's what your mom calls me. <laughs> Why is it such a... It's such a dumb joke, dude. It's such a dumb joke. The song is called The Walk of Life by the D Dire Straits. Thank you. You're the best. Around. Nothing's ever gonna keep it on. Um, the best. <laughs> Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. You're the best. Ah, oh, damn, I can't put mountains here. Okay, I can't stop singing, dude. It's not good. We need to get out of the singing mode. Someone ask me deep philosophical questions while I play Civ, please. What was the song I was singing? Uh, we took control of Mexico. What would you do if I sang out a tune? Um, I would just let you. Because do you know what? I think singing isn't about an expression of talent. It's about an expression of an emotion. You're just in a good mood. You're singing. You're having a good time. Listen, dude, let me sing. I don't care if I'm bad. I don't care if I'm bad, right? I don't have a good voice. Oh, the fire. It comes again. F fuck sticks. I'm stealing more cities. Yoink. The f Have you got a Guinness? I don't believe in Guinness. They're not real. They're a figment of American imagination. There's no such thing as a stout pint. It's all made up. Uh, gotta rename those Indian cities. That's true, actually. Hold on. Um, so this will be Dixboro. Dixboro. Uh, sorry. Ooh. Dixborough. Um, we've got Kilcock. And this will be Inch Beach. Inch Beach. Uh, Alright. Why didn't you play as Ireland for St. Paddy's Day? I don't think there's an Ireland save. Even modded. I'd be happy to do so. Um, but I don't think it exists. That's the issue here, Charles. It doesn't fucking exist. Do you, you understand the problem that I have? Um, would you like to make friends with Nobber? No. I'm not a Knobbly Knobblin. One, two, three. Oh, we've got another national park over here. 
This is what we like to see. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. Any primers in chat? Listen, guys, I sit here all day, every day, working hard to entertain you guys. Some of you guys out there have got primes and you ain't handed them over. Now, they cost you nothing. Technically, it's a free perk of having Amazon Prime. But it means a lot more to me if you give them to me. Same on YouTube. All right? Listen. Some of you guys are sitting there in YouTube chat, day in and day out, acting like you don't have $2 a month to support your boy. Reach into your pocket. Find something nice for me. And touch me with your heart, okay? Um, AKA, pay, pay me. Ooh, pay me. Listen, I deserve it. So, kinda. Okay, I'm entitled to your money. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Consider it. I appreciate it if you do. Um, uh, but do you think that mental states are reductible to physical states? It's not what keeps the mental link to the physical. <sighs> I think it's pretty obvious that mental states are reductible to the physical. Um... But there is also something else going on there. I think like 80 to 90% of what's going on in your mind is like beneath the surface. But that 10%, that 10% is the actual consciousness. And that is a very, very powerful piece of the puzzle. You're supposed to find something nice for us in your past. Uh, m money. That's my favorite thing. We do a little chopping here. Can we get a YouTube member? Oh, thank you so much. Stuart Nielsen. Look at that guy becoming a member. No, being a member for 25 months. Look at that. That's a heroic level of commitment to paying someone else to not get a real job. <coughs> um, thank you. Appreciate it, bud. Okay, I agree, Mr. Professional Denouncer. Yo, Potato Ireland Civ mod got a fix. Dude, I'm already so deep into this game. Like, I was deep into your mod. Oh, hey, free milestone chat. Just saying, bro. Thanks for saying it. Played a little Tilted Axis Canada was super fun. This is super fun. I like this game. Civ is just a fun game. Anyone excited? For the next Civ game, I'm Five pounds curious. And zero pennies sending. This is penance for my Englishness, and also for my firm belief that Nigerian Guinness is by far and away the superior variety. Nigerian Guinness? I've never had Nigerian Guinness, but I'm down to try it. Thank you so much, Spiffing Brit, for becoming a member of the channel. High potato, Happy Independence Day, or something. Falard, thank you for Twitch Prime. No matter how t times I watch your videos, I'm unable to understand the game. When is the Civ 7 release date? We know you know. Uh, first of all, I don't know. Second of all, uh, they probably don't know yet either. It's only been teased on Twitter, which means they're nowhere near. Whatever the next Civ game is, um, ready to announce it. If I had to guess... So here's my guess. In my analysis video of the Civ announcement that they made a few weeks ago, I said we could be 18 months away from release. Um, that was my guess. Now, people who work in the games industry, they're probably going to laugh at that. <laughs> that was my optimistic optimistic uh, guess mash, 18 months is pretty soon optimistic yeah and then like if you want a more realistic one probably double that would be like it's somewhere in between those two windows is like a realistic two estimate euros and zero I remember I think it was in Twitch to give you my prime I was saying we wouldn't have I think I said a couple of years ago we would probably wouldn't have an official announcement like trailer of Civ whatever next one is um based uh we wouldn't have an announcement for it until the end of this year that was my guess i feel like a few years ago 
More fires in the west. Yeah, the, the, the fires are getting out of hand. Man, participating in the latest Alpha of Ara History Untold made me really hype. I'm kind of curious about that game. I signed up for technical something or other, but I didn't get in. So I would I would like to play around with Ara. Ara, Ara, Ara. You notice a good little, uh, little thing here. Oh, I forgot. I can just double click these. Oh, that's so based. Thank you so much for the prize, guys. I really appreciate you all. Fellard, Nuptrix, Negate. Somebody gifted or something. Why is there so many? Armac, become a member too. Ira Bai, too. Thank you so much. They're all, it's all happening. You know you can gift subs in YouTube chat, by the way. Wink, wink. Brian O'Farrell, thank you so much. Oh, there, there were gifts. Stuart and David Wolf, heroic gifters. Oh, David, David what? Why doesn't it show your name? It cuts off your name. David Woodmansey, I see. I couldn't see, but now I can. Let me let me retool my UI. I can see what you guys are up to a little bit better. Haven't been able to catch a live stream in a while. All right, we fixed it. Haven't been able to catch a live stream in a while. Thank you so much, Robert Edwards. You're the best. But what mode of the settings this game have? I can see Clan, Dramatic, Age, Shuffle, others. Um, I used the Got Lake mod to generate a completely random map. <coughs> like, hyper random. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Super, super random. What modes the settings this game have? I can see Clan, Dramatic, Tech Shuffle, any others. Have you had any interest in Company Heroes 3? I know you're an R RTS fan. Yes, actually, I played a game of it. I released a video on it, and I quite enjoyed the game, and I would like to play it more. Um, the issue is time. Will I get the time to do that? Let's make a theater square. We'll go ahead and... We do a little fighting. We do a little. Uh, what's your favorite Brandon Sanderson book? I actually really like the first Mistborn book. I really, really enjoy Mistborn. Um, yeah. I just really like Mistborn, yeah. So much potential for national parks this tourism game is going to pop off when we get around to it uh, shout out to my favorite youtuber shout out to you for being my favorite chatter that i just saw the last person's name i read is my favorite chatter that means you chap not your daddy uh, let's keep exploring mistborn is great uh why do you, uh do you prefer streaming on youtube rather than twitch um I like money. I actually, strangely enough, it's oh, honestly, yeah. it's just like the, the viewership is better. The incentive, like the incentives are just there, right? I actually don't particularly care about money that much. Um, I like what money enables me to do, which is like live a free life, buy my friends dinner. Um, you know, that's fun. Thank you so much for the memberships, guys. You're all the best. I love you all. You're the best. Every single one of you. He's a heroic contributor. I'm going to go ahead and put Pingala into the cap. Am I going to... Uh, yeah, I think now is the time. The flames of... Anudun. Anduin? Anduin Rin? Uh, boom. Money does buy happiness just with diminishing returns. True! Dude, actually, you joke by calling me Mr. Krabs in chat, but I actually identify a lot with Mr. Krabs. Money's about being a high score. I love money. Um, I just don't care about it in of itself. Money's amazing. Because, it, like, think about what money does. It enables you to live, like, totally free from, like... You can, like, just take your friends to things. You could take... If you have kids, you could take your kids to things. You could do whatever you want. You, you, money is freedom, dude. Um, in our society. Which, you know, you can criticize that. That's fair. Um, but also... 
Uh, don't hate the uh, the money enjoyers. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Eh, can it though? Can it? I've never actually seen anyone exchange money for goods and services. That sounds like a conspiracy to me. It's like, here, here's my opinion on money. Taxes should start exactly after the amount of money that I make. <laughs> that's my, that's, that's the, that's the boomer opinion right there. Tax everyone but me, Giga Chad. Um, let's make an entertainment complex. But until then, can I buy a great work from you? Good sir, good sir, good sir, good sir, good sir. Sell off my luxury resources, sell off my luxury resources, sell off my strategics as well. As well, as well, as well. I didn't agree to get taxed. True. I don't consent to your taxation, sir. A night there was. I'm Brazilian, want to start streaming, but I'm thinking the Brazilian viewership is too low. Uh, dude. How many people in the world speak Portuguese? 200 million people speak Portuguese in the world. You'll be fine. Um, biggest. Is it Ibai? Like the biggest. No, he's Spanish, not Portuguese. You'll be fine. How could there be t how could there be too few Brazilians? There's a Brazilian of them. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> that was the dumbest joke. I'm sorry. How many more settlers do we need? Probably a few more. Yeah, probably get like just a few more settlers, fill out the land. I hate that I smirked at that. <laughs> You'll love it, okay? That was a great joke. The fire. The fire rises. The fire is so big it reignites itself, yeah. It's true. Did we we're actually cracked out of our minds right now. So this is obviously a national park. And this right here is obviously this. There we go. This is the kind of tourism we want to see. Um, do you ever get cold in the tundra up there? No. We're Canada. We're well prepared. Like inverse Illidan. You are not prepared. Uh, all right, we need we need to, we need to do a little chopping in here. The fire must be stopped. It's rising too much, soy. Oh yeah, there is actually a a sort of natural preserve location right there. It's pretty good. It's decent. Like a. Uh, Square there, that thing. Can confirm we built all our farms of tundra, and it's totally not based in stereotypes at all. Based in stereotypes. Boom.
I was about ah uh, yeah let's not ask that question um come on guys ask me philosophical questions here on St. Patrick's Day we got a we got a wide open field here there's mercenaries tech wise we're feeling good I do think that we want to go to humanism. We want to start getting our archaeological and art museum. Isn't the entire world made of flood tiles? I mean, it's mostly made of flood tiles. It's not entirely made of... Your culture's a little low. What do you mean? It's at 101. You shush. My science is a little low, if anything. God, of course Russia would be in this game and just like... Every time, dude. Every time, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to have a fun like culture game. I'm going to play like a fun save. And then Russia's like, hey, what's up, bud? How's it going there, bud? Hey, uh, I see you're trying to have a bit of fun there and... uh. You know, it's not allowed, bud. You alright, bud? Uh, we got lots of bud here, bud. Uh, okay. Ice hockey rink. Yep, bud. Here's a philosophical question. How do you know your name? Uh, because other people told me it. And even if they were lying, a name is a functional thing. Unless we were in some kind of universe where names had like actual power, then there's no reason to disbelieve them. Because names are, names are a functional thing. And so like, even if I could change my name tomorrow, and you know, that, whatever that thing is, still is my name. Uh, how do you know what I see as red is what you see as red? Um, because we can, we have the exact same biological, um, mm, we have the exact same biological mm, mechanics in our brains to where we could be reasonably confident that at least we see similar things, if not exactly the same. Does Chinsky have any chance that we are living in a simulation? I think that there's a decent chance that we live inside some sort of recursive simulation. Um, and the philosophical thought that I heard about this was that if you put an apple inside a room uh, where no energy can enter or escape, the apple would eventually decay down to like its most basic, you know, components. The energy would, would spread out. But just as easily inside that space, a new apple could reform. And so I believe the universe is circular. It's an interesting argument. I never really went further than just like, lol, universe is circular, bro. Why are you cheating? Um, I'm cheating on your mom. Uh... Okay, something harder. Is cereal soup... <sighs> Shit, that's a good one. Um, well, I mean, it really just comes. To, what is soup, right? Like, what what is soup? Um, here's a question. Hold on, I gotta break out the notepad. Sorry, I gotta break out the paint. Listen, let's say hypothetically. How do I how do I show this thing? That's not the screen I want to show. Okay, listen. Let's say we have we have here a scale. Okay. On the right side is a, a bowl of cereal. Okay, on the left side rather. On the right side is a bowl of soup. Okay, now let's say along this thing, like let's say 50-50, this is a, a half a, like you take half a bowl of soup and half a bowl of cereal and you mix them together. Is this soup, at what point along the line at what percentage of cereal do you have to reach for this to no longer be ca classified as a soup? Now, it could just be a really terrible soup, right? Which it would be. It would be a really terrible soup. 
And then we've also got to take care of like the, uh, like this is the y-axis. We also have to think about the x-axis, which is, is this a stew? Uh, and then the z-axis. of is this a stock you can see something can have stock in it and be a soup and something can have stock in it and be a stew but I don't think that you can have something with stock in it and it'll be cereal you know what I mean uh, we also go, oh we gotta do this bottom here uh, I don't know what these other prongs are but you know what I mean like there's some there's, there's a there's a 3D map of like water liquid based foods like you got curry over here I think you know the you know how do we know where this lives cereal is unfinished beer I mean that's if we're if we're going into four dimensional analysis here is the sea soup ooh yes I just joined. What the heck is going on? That's why we break out paint. It's not because we're actually solving problems. It's because someone who clicks on the stream is like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> I would like truffles to give more. And I would like units to be cheaper with production. Is the earth a bowl? No. Bowls are convex. Whichever one is an inward curve. Now, if the earth was hollow, it could be a bowl. A spherical bowl. If cereal and stock are mutually exclusive, they should be on opposite ends of one axis, not an orthogonal axis. Well, you see, it's a four it's it's a multi-dimensional axis, so you can actually just move through higher dimensional space to have any of those axes be adjacent to each other. It's a question of can you map from one axis? You can obviously map from one axis to another on a higher dimension, but when you actually you know, when you take a vertical, you know, take a horizontal slice through a different dimension, can you get from one to the other? That's like the question we're asking. Like, like, is this a valid topographical form of the cereal soup stock analysis? You know what I mean? Um, that's the real question we're asking there. Um, I was just watching the KS map live stream. Fish stew is a thing. That's true. Fish does exist in stew form. DKK 200.00 was just watching the Chaos Map live streams. Did you remember your promise to pitch Alpha Centauri Remaster when you were at Firaxis HQ? No. Nope. I forgot. Congrats on that BTW. Huge I forgot. Deserved. Um, I mentioned it. But I forgot to actually push for it. It came up in conversation briefly. Another appease the gods, which we don't care about because we're. <laughs> Johannesburg. If I fold a pizza, pizza together, is it a sandwich? Is it. Wait, hold on. Is it called pizza bread? Or is it called pizza dough? It would be a pizza sandwich, but it wouldn't be a sandwich. Sandwich usually requires bread. It would be a sand it would be sandwich like, but not a sandwich. A calzone is a pizza sandwich. Cooked dough equals bread. Ah uh, no, you got pastry dough. I I wouldn't consider like puff pastry to be bread. Puff, pra pu puff, puff, puff pastry is not bread. I M H O. That's pastry. Pizza crust is bread. It's leavened. Wait, does that mean that the f f wait that means flatbread isn't bread? Come on. But it's literally called flatbread. Croissant is bread because you make sandwiches with it. But it, is a croissant a pastry or is it a bread? They're both made from dough, but there is, I feel like, a difference. Your mom is bread? Wow. You got me, dude. 
Dude, there's got to be somewhere on the map someone is just getting like giga flamed. I mean, aside from me. Donuts are bread. Uh, are donuts pastry or bread? You know, I'm not so sure about that one. That one I'm not sure about. All food is either pizza, a burger, salad, or soup. Ooh. Wait. What is... Hold on. What is uh, what is hummus in that analysis? Because I don't think it fits in any of that. Uh, your categories are dumb. I don't. I don't think. I think you. I think you just made that up. I don't think you put any philosophical thought into that position. Summit. Bread must be baked. If it's fried, it isn't bread. Uh, you never heard of fried bread, bruh. Nice to see you on the Phyraxis stream for Siv Smiley Face. Thank you for watching the Phyraxis stream. It was a ton of fun to be there. A ton of fun to hang out with the developers. A ton of fun to, uh, you know, try to get them to tell me about what they're working on. Dinner was awkward after I grilled them, you know. We went to dinner with them and I was like, hey guys, uh, spill the beans. And uh, I got a lot of stony faced looks. There's an entire website. Look at the cube rule for food classification. Let me tell you, those guys, they know how to keep their secrets. I was like Frodo, talking to Gandalf there. It's because they're game developers. Spill the beans about what? About whatever they're working on. So about all those NDAs you signed, how about you violate them? Exactly. That's exactly what I was like. I was like, dude, just tell me. Reveal your information. I was asking about release dates. I was like, hey, you know, when's the next one coming out? I got blank stares. <laughs> You know. Uh, it was probably rude to ask that. Um, when did food classification get so semantic? People just like to talk, dude. We just like people like to argue. Put a put a put in put a one in chat if you like to argue. And now that I've waited like four seconds, some people are going to put a two because that they consider that to be arguing, to put a two. Guarantee you. Watch. See? There they are. Look, there's some zeros. There's some ones. There's some trees. There you go. People just like to... to it's, it's not like we hate each other. We just like to argue. Um, we got a, we could go commercial hub in here. We could also go preserve. I, th I think I like the idea of preserve. Preserve sounds fun. What if I like discussing things but not arguing? They fall, uh, to me, they, they're synonymous. Discussions, arguments, they're kind of in a similar, um, they're in a similar vein. It's curiosity, exploring thoughts, very human thing. Of course, like, I mean, that's like 80% of socializing is like hearing someone say something and then trying to, uh, you know, formulate a response that is both interesting to yourself and to them. It's a, uh, it's a fun thing to do. So how many more settlers do I want to do? I think one, two, three. I think one settler here. One, two, three. I think a settler like here. One, two, three. And then a settler here. And I, I think that's all the cities we're going to do. So I really only need two more settlers out of the capital. Maybe three. Maybe we'll do three. And we'll kind of optimize those locations in a minute. Um, love to see your live stream. So I just woke up. I'm going to start from the beginning. Have a good stream and a great St. Paddy's Day.
Boop, 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 boop. If you would have been born back in the day, would you be part of a settler convoy? Nah, dude. I would be hanging out with the ladies picking berries. I'd be like, I'm not going hunting. Fuck that. I want to pick some fruit. Did we already get the Patty versus Patty rant? Nobody has said it wrong yet. Make my day. Why are you making a settler? What the hell? You should be making uh, builders. We get to do the chopping of the century. Fruit are better anyway. Your mom's better. We got him. Isn't Patrick British? Uh, he was Welsh. Britain didn't exist. Thank you. He doesn't a saint doesn't have to be Irish. He's just a holy guy. The flames of Anundin are coming back. This looks like a pretty good location to do a city. A pretty city. Oh, we got a sprawling empire. Feeling good about that one. Monument, granary. Rogan. Britain did not exist. I mean... Yes? Britain didn't exist. That is a modern thing. The concept of Britain. It was a much more complicated cultural landscape back then. It was not just... Pretty sure England didn't even exist yet. Wait, hold on. Uh, when was St. Patrick born? Yeah, dude, he was born in like 386 AD. Like, England. I'm pretty sure the Roman Empire still existed in the Britain. Back then, you know what I mean? Like, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about a long ass time ago. Mercy at Wessex, how is Babby formed? Um, you have to talk to your mom about that, but Britain is an island. Let's go to the commercial hub. I want to make an art museum. Yeah, 21 turns until the artist comes out, so we'll get an art museum. Workers of the world unite. You've got to fight for your right to wages. You've got to fight for your right to overtime. Any catch hammers? What's your favourite Irish turn of phrase? Um, he's a scuttering gobshite. <laughs> it's such a good one. Ah, oh, what a great phrase. Fucking scuttering gobshite. Have I tuned into a British history geography lesson? Depends. What does it even mean? It doesn't actually really, like, it doesn't actually really mean anything. What it's really communicating is how that person feels about another person. <laughs> um, so a gobshite is an idiot, right? Now, Scuttering is just like emphasis. It just makes the the gobshite hit harder, you know. Um, you can call like you could just add you can add any variation of the word scuttery or scutter, scuttering, 
um, to an insult and it makes that insult hit harder, you know? Uh, do you have this feed from your recent video on start locations? Unfortunately, I probably don't. The autosave's likely got erased. <gasps> oh! Um, what's this? Oh, yeah. Um, so we've got a few more strange Irish town names to do. This one's going to have to be copy-pasted, because it's a little, a little complicated. Um, but that is an, an actual Irish town name. I implore you to believe me. How does this mode work? Uh, we basically set everything to random when we started the game. And now we are witnessing the consequences of those actions. Mm, scuttery bastards living in my land. Have you ever heard of Aliens Rock YouTube? I love Aliens Rock. Huge fan of him. Clip this and send it to him. I love his videos. I love his uh, I love his attitude. I love his vibe. I love um, I wish I could do videos on games that he does videos on. I need to get like I wish I had I wish my channel was more like his channel. I really love everything about him. Um, honest to God. Uh, I love his videos on Look Be a Landlord. I loved his videos on Inscription. I loved his, vi like, all the puzzle games. He, like, if I was better at puzzle games, I would play those games. But I just, I don't have to anymore because I can just watch him play them. It's, he's a fantastic. Actually, honestly, some of you guys should probably just stop watching me right now and go check out um, his, uh, his channel. It's super, super high quality um, puzzle content. Seems like a high disaster intensity. Yes. Boom. So I'm just like pre, pre acquiring a whole bunch of builders. If your body replaces all its cells every couple of dozen years, are you still yourself? Evelyn Ames. Evelyn Ames. You know, that is a good question. Um, yes. Because I would say the definition of am I myself would be the continuity of my perception of being the same entity. And so therefore, as long as I continue to perceive myself as myself, I am still the same being. Because the... Well, my physical form is not the same. The thing that we humans care about is the consciousness and the experience when it comes to analysis of is this thing the same thing we are not solely the sum of your part of our parts yeah uh how do you know when you wake up you're still yourself they're not calling sleep the little death little thing. In a craft where no one every day i wake up and i'm a different person <laughs> I don't know, these are hard questions. Uh, but isn't your consciousness in constant flux since we learn and forget each day? Yeah, but the experience of being that consciousness is consistent. And so that would probably mean that people who forget who they are, in a sense, stop being who they are a little bit. Brant GTS, thank you so much. You're a clone with the same memory? I'm okay with that. I don't, I'm okay with being a clone. I don't think it's a bad vibe. I need a horse. My kingdom for a horse. Honestly, here's a, here's a question. Which kingdom would you actually trade for a horse? Like, when is that a good trade deal? You know what I mean? You can't prove that other people, you would trade the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> is there a kingdom here that is worth a horse? Okay. Now, here's the question. Which horse? Huh? Which horse? Kingdom sounds like a pretty big responsibility, especially compared to one horse. Any kingdom I happen to have in my hands would have to be a triple crown winning horse. Ooh, you'd make a lot of money with that. Honestly, probably a really good answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. I like it. He went the financial route. 
of like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna have a horse, this horse better be making me money. That is the uh, the the pimp logic of horse ownership. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was uh yeah, I that was probably too far. Um Oh, somebody said slept near. I like that answer. That's a good answer. I met um, when I was in Baltimore, I got an Uber driver with the uh, 2K rep I was with, Harry. Uh, and this Uber driver was the most naturally charismatic man I have ever encountered in my life. He talked really slowly. Uh, just really slowly, really self-assuredly. He took a second to answer everything you said and everything you said he had a hilarious answer for i remember i said to him right i said you know oh uh, you know when we were young we used to uh you know we used to mix beer and cider because the beer was cheap but the cider tasted good and he said beer and cider it sounds cheap and nasty and uh and i joked i said Cheap and nasty, yeah, that's how I usually live my life. And he just goes, cheap and nasty? Sounds like a good woman. <laughs> and that's when I, like, I completely broke. And I legitimately, he kept going on and joking, and I literally cried laughing. He just had this, like, incredible confidence, and, a, like, he just had, I don't know how to describe it, but he was, like, the funniest man I've ever encountered. Um, he sounded high no he wasn't high he was just like he just talked really like slowly and confidently I don't know how to describe it he just he had the riz dude he was the 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 rizzler oh this one isn't valid there's no city in range. Unless I settle here on the spices. Um, God, I wish I like I, I joked with uh, a couple of the guys at at Firaxis. I was like, dude, if I was a billionaire, I would and I ran into that guy, I would hire him as like my chauffeur because I would want him in my car every day. He was just one of the funniest people I've ever encountered. Um, it was uh, honestly that I know it sounds it's going to sound weird because I went and I did like the dream trip. I went to Firaxis. I got to meet all the Firaxians. I got to meet all the cool stuff. Um, but that Uber driver, he was the highlight <laughs> because he was so funny. <laughs> Uh, fuck he was so funny dude uh, I'm gonna move Magnus I'll move Magnus next turn the Obama talk I don't know how to explain it he just talked really slowly like he had thought about what you were saying and that he had formulated the perfect answer to make you laugh completely deadpan Wish Uber had a please be quiet option. They do, don't they? I like talking. I like talking to people. I like talking to Uber drivers. They're funny as hell. I love, I love getting into a car and hearing like the conspiracy theories. You want to hear about the Green Party? You want to hear about the government? How the government's doing this thing? Birds aren't real, man. It's a surveillance thing. Blah, 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 blah. blah. And I'm just like sitting there like, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, 100%. Birds, they're fucking watching us, man. They're out to get us too. Also, you ever see those guys at night who like follow us around? Yeah, it's called gang stalking. It's real, dude. Um, I'm like, I'm in for that. I don't know why people don't like it. I don't get it. It's hilarious. I'd forgotten about birds aren't real. Yep, that's a good one. I love that one. Have you heard of putting a hole? Like, here's the thing. 
when you when you're talking to a, a someone who's like slightly unhinged, you have to remember your goal of the conversation isn't to have a genuine conversation; it's to be entertained. <laughs> you've got you've got to go into those conversations with the right mindset. You all are going in there being like, "I want to connect to another human being and have a re- real conversation." It's like, dude, you're going to know this guy for 15 minutes, and he is literally driving you from point A to point B. You're here to have a good time, okay? Find out what this motherfucker believes, all right? And then when you get out of the car, you can go and tell the people you really care about about the insane conversation you had. Few inventions have been so. Uh, at least that, that's my perspective on things, at least, you know. It's the way I approach it. Um, it's the way I approach stuff. They put microchips in the water? Based! Microchip me. I want to be chipped. Chip me. Chip me. I want to be chipped. I want to be chipped with a drip. Uh, let's move Magnus to Van Quaver. You're all, you're all sitting here telling me like you wouldn't want to be the bionicle man with microchips in you, okay? Stop stop the cap. I said bionicle man instead of bionic man. Bionicle man. <laughs> That's like that budget Lego stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the best conversations you'll ever have in your life is a dude you meet for 15 minutes. I... Here's the thing. You're going to have the most meaningful conversations with people you know for a long time. But dude, don't discount how much fun you can have just sitting in a room or in a cab or in a car or whatever and just talking absolute unadulterated bollocks with another human being. Okay? Just live a little. All right? Enjoy life. Where's... Where does... um? There's archaeologists. Where does... uh Stadiums... Ice ring. Uh, colonialism. Okay, we're not too far away. Bionicle was made by Lego. It wasn't actually budget. It was one of their most expensive things. Wow, I, did, I actually didn't know that. Interesting. I always thought it was like some ripoff thing. I guess I got Lego on my face instead of Ego. Get it? <laughs> Please clap. Um. Lego. I do like a little bit of Lego. I do like a bit of Lego. A bit of Lego with you. Have I found everyone yet? No, I need another three. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate you. You're the best. Around. Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. So I'm just counting my um my uh ice hockey rinks. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, appreciate you. voice of an angel thank you everyone always says i have a really nice voice which is genuinely baffling to me because i think i sound like a screeching harpy um but you know whatever you guys are into i mean i'll just keep talking 
I got the Civ Rizma. You know what I mean? No Riz? Sing only theme? We we did that earlier. You may need to buy Yosemite. 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 Boom. We did it. Thank you for reminding me about Yosemite. We're back to singing stream. Waiting for Magnus to establish here. Waiting for Magnus to establish. Boom 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 A fast talking Irish voice is in a beauty. Well, you're in luck. Because I'm pretty good at doing that. How are you gonna pay for those national parks, potato? Don't you realize that we are playing Canada, where we have the mounted with a Canadian unique modern era unit can create two national parks plus five combat snapman fighting within two tiles of a national park. We just have to make the Mounties and then we will get it. You silly fool, did you not know about the Mountie, the Canadian Mountie? You should have known, you should have known, but you didn't, cause you're a foolish man. I did not, today I learned. Good job, you're one of today's 500 people who learn about how the Canadian civilization works. Oh, Canada. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, Canada. If I chop, would you leave me on the line? If I clop. Don't say that. No. Never mind. Undo. I don't actually know the Canadian National Anthem. <laughs> Magnus, no! Oops. Oops. I thought he was established! Okay, I'm not reloading the turn. I thought we I thought he had, I thought he was ready. I we needed to wait two turns. I accidentally only waited one. Our home and native land. But some lady recently changed it to our home on native land, which as a Canadian I found clever. That's pretty clever. Also true. Uh, okay, change production. A little bit of watermill. Uh, we are gonna need to produce a military here, I think. So that we can retake our land uh, when it inevitably flips independent here. Liberalism is pretty good. Let's have a look. I, we're no longer settling, so we can keep serfdom, liberalism. I think it would be nice to go for aesthetics here for the extra culture. I don't think we really need any of these. We'll confirm our policies. We're mostly just hanging around, waiting for something to happen. Ever make a color tier list? Uh, burgundy would be at the top of that tier list. Any burgundy enjoyers in the chat? Type a B if you like burgundy. Why no T2 government? Because I haven't found it yet. Oh. 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 Ooh. Whoops. If you see a castle under Any Burgundy enjoyers Republican legacy and we will also take liberalism and some extra retainers with feudal contracts so that we can make some units. We'll recruit a great writer. And then we'll improve Niter. Which will get us a step closer to victory. For dollar two. Twenty Canadian trivia. Canada has a maple syrup reserve. Uh, why wouldn't you? It's an incredibly important economic good. Thank you, Stuart Nielsen, for the $2 Canadian. 
everyone should have a reserve of the delicious maple syrup. Colors are real except for Magneta. Magneto? Mag M Magneta? Is that a, like a X-Man? I need to plan something wonderful here. I have an idea. Of a beer. Magenta? Magneto. I think I actually thought it was... Come on. I was clearly to rolling, dude. Do-do. 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 do do Bing ding 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 If Civ 6 good on the Steam Deck, I haven't actually played it on the Steam Deck, but I'm, I'm sure it works just fine. I think I played it a little bit on the Steam Deck. My Steam Deck is kind of crashing, though. Oh, I was supposed to return that, wasn't I? Oh, I need to check that email. How are you able to have national parks without faith income? Because I am playing Canada, our home on native land. Is this a pure tundra map? No, we just rolled completely random and this is the game that we found. That's how it works when you're playing a random game. Bread boys, bread boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they bake for you? Bread boys, bread boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they bake for you? Hello, bread boy! And because she was okay, guys. Here's a question. Can you guys collaboratively type the entire Canadian National Anthem word for word, one word at a time in chat? Go. <laughs> you can google it you're allowed to google googling is valid Stop getting in the way of people typing the Canadian National Anthem. Let let them cook. Alright, I'll start off, okay? I'm going to type O in chat. There you go. Now try. Good, just go, pull up the Canadian Anthem on your phone and get typing. Alright, we got to O Canada. Land. Someone wrote, wrote it in French. Terra. Our. Canada. Home. We got to home. Well, oh, I gotta pull up the anthem now, too. Native, raw native. You guys are you're doing it. Good job. You got to land. 
Oh, Canada. Blah, 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 blue, blue. It's getting hard to see the map now. I have to sing that nonsense every morning at school. God, that sounds horrible. I wish I was in charge of a country. Do you know, I would make people sing terrible songs. I didn't know you could just make school children sing. Like, that's a thing. Countries can do that. We had to sing, like, the national anthem once or twice a year. Just to make sure that we knew it. Based. Just rolling up to school and being like, yo. Every single one of you guys needs to know the anthem off by heart. Guess what we're doing? We're singing the anthem every day until you know it. And they're like, uh, how is this educationally valuable? And I'm like, education? <laughs> what are you... What, are you what, is, what is this, a house of learning? Do Quebec sing the anthem in French? They probably have their own anthem, honestly. Opera is when a guy gets stabbed in the back and do, 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 do. I want these archaeologicals, but I also want to find I want to find colonialism. It's like an important part of my uh, my build here. Uh, we did get some statues. The art museum isn't quite yet done. Theater square here, amphitheater, get going. Take, get to work on taking Susan to Kumasi. We're up to 200 culture per turn. Things are looking pretty good, actually, all things considered. Probably time to start talking about the game again, now that we're about to like hit a really interesting moment. Waiting for Magnus in that city. I am going to chop here to get that monument sooner. Uh, chat needs to do the French version. Bonjour. Am I missing anyone? Oh, I'm missing two. I'm missing three people. So I need to find a few more. Um. Uh, so we got commercial hub. We got archaeological museum. We're doing okay up here. It's time to start stocking up on builders for the great retooling of our empire. Oh. Oh my god, Potato, we literally just did the whole French version? Yeah, but you did it line by line. You didn't do it word for word. Each person could only do one word. Viva le Quebec. Living la vida, Quebec. Upside, inside, out. Living la vida, Quebec. Living la vida, Quebec. So start us over. There. Exploration. Merchant Republic. Colonialism is in here somewhere. I know it. We got the Chancery in the capital. I would like the Intelligence Agency, I think. Um, it would be nice to start producing a military in case we get a Dark Age. So... Let's do that while they're cheap. Oh, Canada. Do, 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 do. A few catapults. Government is fine. They're actually singing it in French. I'm impressed. Oh, I need to rename Vancouver. What was that city called? We've got Nobber. Oh, Duty's Bottoms is in County Wicklow. Okay, Duty's Bottoms. Yeah, let's do that one. Um, Duty's Bottoms. Uh, we have Muff. We have Malls Gap. Uh... Hackball's Cross. 
another town. And then we've got Horse and Jockey. Which is a town in Tipperary, believe it or not. Montreal. Um, this can be Kerwin's Inch. Charlottetown. Um, let's have a look. What do we got? Fanny's Town. Oh. Do, 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 do. Come on, we gotta, there's got to be better ones. Blue Ball, County Halfley. There we go. And then... You just renamed my hometown? Well... You have to talk to the local local council about that. I had nothing to do with me. Go away. Go away. There you go. Native land. That's a good one. I like that. We're giving it back. Oh, can't do 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 do. I'm guessing the theme is Irish towns that are just awful. That is the theme. Real Irish towns. 50-50 shot, let's do it. Four dollars and 99 cents. Been a while since I caught a live stream. Have a nice coffee slash tea drink on me. Hey, good man. Thank you so much, Pab. Now, hey, listen, guys. Did you know that day in, day out, I slave over YouTube videos, live streams, trips around the world, all this stuff, and I do it completely for free. If you want to support my channel, right below my live stream, there's a button there. It's called uh, Join. You can join the channel for $2 a month, right? $2 a month, and you can support my live stream. You can support my channel. You get a special badge and chat. You get recognition. I'll give you a shout out when you resub. And, uh, you know, lots of cool things like that. You know, it's based. It's not cringe, okay? It's a good thing. You should help me out. Th uh, that is what we call a call to action. I don't actually need you to do that, but some people don't think of it. Um, and so by reminding you, uh, my channel and life will be generally more financially successful. Does he have a list of game mods somewhere? Nope. Automatic ban for anyone that says Patty's Day? Nah, I don't, I don't, I'm not that mad about it. I don't, you know, I'm a very chill person. Most of the times when I'm mad, I'm performatively mad, just to, you know, for entertainment value. Where the hell is colonialism? I need it. Canada in the 1800s. Um, chop. Oh... David Dubois, thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. And Howling Comet, thank you for the dono. It will get red in a moment. $20 and zero cents Canada's revenge is sweet and syrupy. I would like to see you do some funny Roman Legion plus warrior monk on marathon mode stuff. P.S. Love seeing you with the Yogs. Bully them into playing Sivmore. 
We will play more Civ. I can promise you that. We've been playing Civ 5 lately. Um, and you know, now that there's a new Civ game on the way, it could be an opportunity for us to, you know, when that eventually gets around to us, it could be an opportunity for us to make really cool content on that too. Um, I'm hoping for a really fun and fruitful relationship with the Yogscast in the future. So far, our relationship has been fantastic. I hope to go to the... Um, What the hell is it called? Uh, Jingle Jam again. Peter's military looks scary. It's probably all like Cossacks or something crap. I liked Pyrian. Lewis is great fun. Uh, I had a great time hanging out with Silas. <coughs> Ravzi was a hero. Uh, didn't... Boba was really fun. She was really sweet and kind. Uh, Pedgwin, absolute gem of a lad. Yeah, they were all... Everyone was lovely. Just lovely, friendly people. Got to meet Alistair, the developer of Played Up. We had a great time. Um, he was really fun to get to know and meet and chat with. Uh, lovely guy, Alistair was. I should plug in the card that makes my walls build faster because I forgot. Can't wait to see the Civ video featuring Potato Wrecking Carl. Only of all my, that Potato's had. Listen guys, I'm telling you right now, I've had zero involvement with the whatever Civ game that's in development. I've had zero involvement with anything to do with it. I think Uh, like they probably like listened to the community like me included complaints about Civ 6 and maybe you know that might influence it but like no I have no direct involvement none whatsoever what was that tune for the card swap I have no idea It's just in my mind. In my head. Hey, Kartoffel von Schnaps. How's it going? I always... I, the word Kartoffel is really fun to say. Can everyone type Kartoffel in chat, please? It means potato. In German. There's a bad man inside my borders. His name is Skirmisher. He's a barbarian scout. I prefer Zweebel. Ooh, Zweebel. There's colonialism. Perfect. We get the ice hockey rinks up now. It's going to be a great old time. We got another writer. As many great works of writing available for me to purchase. One, two, three, four. Hey, we got them all. That's all the room we had. Uh, we got the theater square in here. Let's get these ancient walls up. Let's get the medieval walls up. We don't need theocracy. When does the Mountie come into the picture? Mountie. Conservation, I assume. Oh, yes, we're close. We're pretty close. This is where it's going to be. I shall teleport you nowhere because you're full. I've nowhere to put you because it's all void and null. As I was go, as I placed the card inside my hat. Potatoes. In Potatoes. my old. Of the fish, forgive me, Tato. Who trade with guy you kill? I will. It's an Irish song. I don't remember which one of this though. It's an Irish song that I've heard a million times. It's the Irish dirge. I forgot about this. Thank you so much, Apple Fumble. I think he's singing the cranberries. No, no, no. That's the zombie song. There's another song. I can't think of it. 
new Hosier EP. Uh, are you featured on any songs? No, but uh, we I share a name with Hosier, believe it or not. Uh, we're on the same council. The naming council of Ireland. From the same clan... From the same clan. Should probably start getting open borders with people. Oh, it's not fun to do, but it's important to do. Why can we expect another go of Terra Invicta? Uh, the more you ask, the less likely it is to happen. Uh, it'll be when I feel like it. Sorry, I am capricious. And um, arbitrary. And so I cannot ever give you a nailed down date. Because if I ever commit to a date, I will just fail to meet it. I have no intentions currently of playing Terra Invicta for the foreseeable future. However, I do have intentions in general to do a full playthrough of Terra Invicta. Or just I'm a little bit burnt out after that first attempt. It's something I want to go back to do, but I don't know when. <laughs> Would it be more effective to purchase open borders instead of exchanging them for cultural purposes? I mean, it doesn't make a difference, I think. Like, exchanging is fine. And check the open border thing, and I've got them with everyone. Boo 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 boo. Have I actually earned any tourists? Yeah, I have not. I'm close. What about against the storm? Can't wait for it. Look, here's the thing. I'm. I'm getting better. I was a little sick the last couple of years, but I'm getting better. So my hope is that more content will be coming. I have a Patreon in the in the works. I have a plan for Patreon. Um, I'm living a much more healthy, balanced life. And uh, I'm currently not doing as much as I could be doing. But I'm okay with that. I could be doing more. But. Um, I'm not going to be doing more for now. Uh, however, you know. I'm getting better. I'm getting healthier. I'm just, I'm a little bit. Have you tried cocaine? It'll help all the issues. Uh... I am theoretically looking for a prescription for some sort of stimulant. Renaissance walls completed in here. We have the theater square. It would be nice to get the entertainment complex. Do 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 Hey, Shadow of Gaia. Oh my god, 35 months. Thank you so much. Dude, some people have been like members for like an insane period of time. Um, it's heartwarming and humbling.
It used to be possible to win in the ancient era when heroic relics weren't patched. I don't remember that. Is it okay to ask if you have ADHD um, or autism? As some of that is also stifling with the later hey, potato. ones. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Shadow Gaia. Uh, I was diagnosed with ADHD recently. And so I'm going to, you know, we're, we're trying out some stuff to see if that can help me out. Um, I think I would like to try techniques for management before we go straight to medication. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm exercising. I'm... Wow, I had no idea. 31 months is a good period of time. Uh, 31 months is an insane amount of time. Thank you, Bobby Hanson. Um, I'm on anti-anxiety medication um, to help with the anxiety that comes with, you know, ADHD and stuff. Or that can be associated with it. Uh, and we are, you know, we're working on it. It's happening. We're, we're working on it. We're, we're getting there, okay? Swole potato? Ideally, yeah. Well, I think more importantly, I should think I, should, I need to lose some weight first. If I lose a little bit of weight, it is necessary. Um, I'll be quite a bit healthier. I'll be able to move more. I, I want to get into, like, <clears throat> perfect world. Um, what I would be doing is, like, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of weightlifting, and a little bit of, like, yoga or Pilates or something like that. That would be, like, the perfect world. That way I get a combination of uh, cardio, prove my heart, weightlifting, for hypertrophic exercise, increase my muscle strength, and then Pilates for flexibility. That would be like, that's the perfectly rounded thing. If I was doing that three to five times a week, that's where we want to get to. Right now, I'm mostly doing um, cardio, but I want to get into a more well-rounded build. It sounded like I was playing an RPG there. Potato. I genuinely thought you looked like a unit on the Civ stream. I'm a little overweight. I'm a little overweight. We need to work on it. Yes, thirty-one months is a good number. I think someone died. India died. I think. Good luck with your ADHD. Getting diagnosed to help me rediscover myself. That's good to hear. A standing desk may be helpful. It's been great for my back with a sedentary job. India is dead. I think Russia killed them. My goal, my goal is just, I want to be healthy long term. I mean, I'm in my, I'm, I'm 30 something now, 31. And, you know, my body's not getting younger. So any like pain or issues like that, that's only going to get worse. So I should start looking after myself now. Get it, on, get it under control. And that's kind of like, that's the plan. Look at the CrossFit. I'm good. Had I, been I will pass. Anti-inflammatory diet, that might be a good way to go. When's your vacay, Tato Man? I already went. I'm back, bro. We did it. We've been and gone. Are you home in the sick note by the Dubliners? Yes, that's it. And at the time of writing, I am not a... Yes, and at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. Good job. Who said that? Aztecanian. Good, good ear. Fuck. I couldn't think of the song.
Come out your black and tans, come out and fight me like a man. You show your wife how you won medals down in Flanders. You're an awful shower of... I'm not building any builders, am I? Oh shit, I'm building some. Do 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 I need to go listen to that song. Sing the next line, why don't you? Come out you black and tans, come out and fight me like a man. Show your wife how you won medals down in Flanders. Ah, uh, hell to say, what made you run like hell from the green and lovely lads of Kilachandra? I couldn't. I can't remember the lyrics. Tell him. Oh yeah, tell him how the IRA made you run like hell away from the green and lovely lanes of Shilashandra. I mean, I've grown up listening to those songs. Eat more, move less. Uh, mm, based. Celtic fan potato? Not really. Don't watch football. Man is a military and war is. Archaeological museum. Archaeologist. I think I'll buy that archaeologist if I can sell stuff off. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Thank you, Armored Walrus. You're a hero. Hero of the revolution. Why is Preslav dying? Volcano, probably. The world is flooding, oh my god. It's not going to go well. There's so much flood inside the world. I don't want it to be true. <laughs> Potato equal IRA confirmed. No, I do not endorse um, any paramilitary organizations. Let's get the zoo for the loo. Bastard town built a builder. Probably need to get an archaeologist in here. Do you always play with the basic game options? Do you switch them up? I switch them up pretty regularly, I feel. I feel like I do that regularly. Art museum in here, nice and slow. It's very hard to see the um, the doodly boops. It's very hard to see the uh, the things, the archaeological sites. When you click on an archaeologist, it's hard to see them on a tundra map. Have you gotten a role in development in the next Civ game? I mean. Everyone has a role in the development of the next Civ game, right? You talk about what you want to see in the next game, the developers are listening. Like, I think that's pretty obvious based on the updates to Civ 6. Um...
They're really commenting. If you if you comment on my YouTube videos, you have a role in the development of Civ Six because, like, I guarantee you, there's like a, at least for certain videos, there's a chance that a developer has read that comment, right? Do you think they will keep the district system in Civ Seven? Um. It's hard to say. I'm trying to think of like a time when an innovation was brought into a Civ game that was then later taken away. So like the placing of districts, at least in some form, will probably be in the game. If they put an undo button into Civ, oh my god, I would actually just... Uh, Stacks of Doom in Civ 3 was removed in later Civ. Yeah, but that wasn't an innovation. Come on. Sending into the city states and puppeting from Civ 5. I agree. That should have been something that should have come back, I think. Puppeting, puppeting should have come back. And I hope it will. Um... Civ 7 needs an undo button and more unique units. Listen, dude, at the developers on Twitter. Write posts on Reddit. They're always watching and listening to you. Personally, I think like the district system is really fun, so I would be sad if they didn't keep it in Civ, whatever the next one is. I still, I'm still not, I, I mean, I'm pretty, I, I, I feel like with the seven exclamation marks on that tweet, I think there's a good chance it's going to be the next iteration, but, um, there's always a chance it's like a, a non mainline game. Um. I need money. Give me some cash. I don't know why I'm, I have 26. I need more cash. Who has money for me? Thank you, my good sir. Oh goodness, I hope not. Why not? It would be good. What about making districts more accessible? What, like simplifying them? I mean, I guess, yeah, sure. I'm okay with that. Four dollars and ninety nine cents. Thank you so much for all the right. tutorials. Happy Saint Baddies. Personally, I'd like to see at least a couple more designable districts like the Government Plaza. That'd be kind of cool. Hello, Potato. What leader are you playing today? I'm playing as Wilfred Laurier, the leader of O Canada. Um, things are going swell. I need to find conservation. Does anyone know the trigger for conservation? It's like build a neighborhood, right? Yeah. (laughs) 
You haven't played much Civ Six, but you like his playstyle. He has a really fun playstyle. I like the whole Tundra Giga Chad thing that he does. Where he's king of the tundra. I'm the king of the tundra. Let's get an intelligence agency. We got the market over here in Fanny's town. Let's go ahead and get the theater square going. Um, let's go clear out this barber camp. Oh my god, that's so much shit. You just hope the next game will have a much inside quality life stuff. As it turns out, Mount Kilimanjaro. First, Hephaestus, human nature. <gasps> what is this? Right, we're working on printing. Um, democracy would be good here, I think. Did I never put Pingala into the capital? Oops. Whoops. Whoopsie. Oh, Lord, a dark age is coming for me. Oh, no, a dark age is coming for me. Let's get the bombards going. We'll need them to fight. We'll have to reclaim our empire and fight throughout the night. You find the whole making plans with tiles. I mean, once you have the hotkeys, uh, like so I press shift A, a double click, plantation, shift A, theater square, double click, shift A, uh, great bath, shift A, commercial hub, then I press shift uh, S and they disappear. And then I can press shift D to delete them. Once you get the hang of like using the UI efficiently, um, using the detailed map tax mod, I think there's a lot of potential there for, um, for, um, uh, for it to be speedy. This is a bad time for me. I'm not ready for your attack. I don't like the way this goes. I want my city back. Don't make a musket man because it'll use up my precious nighter. Make a galley for error score. That seems like a better blighter. So we're going to get a pretty bad rebellion here. Uh, we're going to need a lot of cash. Can't sell the nighter. We can sell everything else though. Do 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 This is why we pre-built the nighters. Strategic nighter. Alright, this is why we pre-built the the catapults. So we could have a rake of bombards to reclaim our land. This land over here is probably going to be flipping. Oh! <sighs> we'll 
need those bombards to reclaim our cities. to get as much error score as we can. If I had conservation, I would have been fine. Alright, let's make some battle groups. I think three... Like a battle group of three bombards in the s east, and a battle group of three bombards in the west should be enough. Battle group one, battle group two, okay. It's chaos time, and there's nothing we can do about it. We just have to try to survive. And work our way around it. We were due a Dark Age. We were due one. It was due. We effed around. We found out. Intelligence Agency. Let's keep making bombards to supply the army. You're here. Right, the battle group has been formed. This battle group is heading to the east. Would be nice to have a battle group in the south, but I don't think we can afford to do that in time. Let's get Garrison Commander to push more loyalty pressure from Horse and Jockey in the hopes that less of these cities will flip independent. Um... We'll have to do a little bit of work. You're going to go to the city of nowhere. What's your opinion of the Civ 6 archaeology or art system? I don't know. It's pretty good. It does the job. It works. I like it. Um, I mean, it, it does the job, right? Like, the Civ 6 archaeology system, it works. It does what it needs to do. It provides you with an interesting minigame that you need to, like, solve for. Um, Russia's culture is, like, pretty damn good. Not nearly as good as mine, though. My tourism is slightly better. We just, like, if we can make it to conservation, that's where we can make a real difference here. So here comes the big old scary moment. The timer to move great works. I mean, just move the, move the, move the artist. You know what I mean? Build three art museums, move the artist around. Why is a woman to be treated All right, there's democracy. This is actually a pretty good innovation for us. Um, we don't need new deal. We want public works. We want Grand Army so we can build units faster. And we want I guess liberalism is nice. And then we want Merchant Confederation.
Could plug in Monumentality for a turn to spend on my fate. I don't think I'll bother. Where is Conservation? The lack of conservation has me in a state of consternation. I'm consternated about conservation. I'm kind of dreading when the flip happens. I, you know what, I actually, I need regular units. So I forget, does anyone remember off the top of their head what percentage of your empire rebels? Um, dramatic Ages Civ 6 Deity. Forty percent. How many cities do I got? Let me do this. Uh, city center, Canada. All right, seventeen results. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, we do in fact have seventeen cities. Seventeen multiplied by point four. That's going to be seven cities rebelling. Now, uh, what is the loyalty screen? Let's have a look. How do I get to the loyalty? There it is. Do, 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 do. Damn it. It's going to be the seven cities with the lowest loyalty. Okay, Inch Beach, Guelph, Dixboro, Native Land, Muff, Kerwin's Inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, actually, this city isn't going to flip. So, this trio of cities over here is going to flip. We need to be ready for that. Um, how long do we have? How far can we get our bombards over there? Pretty far. We don't actually care about keeping these that much. Could be a little bit of flipping. Now what I could do is manipulate things slightly. By moving Ping Pingala to Dixborough to give this, for this to be a uh, a fortress from which we attack Inch Beach and retake it, reclaim it. It would be nice to get the Royals, I think it would be nice to get the National History Museum actually, sorry is what I meant to say. Last in, we got the archaeologist in here. Great stuff. Keep getting builders for conservation. Need to do more of these. Native land is going to be a problem. You need to actually head south to go fight down here. You'd know where to put you. Um, fuck. I need to go delete this because it's in the wrong city. Head down this way. Where's my melee unit over here? I don't have one. Can I buy one? There we go. All 
All right. <clears throat> I need to start getting through these turns. No, he built the thing. He built the Basilica. The St. Peter's Cathedral. St. Basil's Cathedral? You could start a cultural alliance to prevent some of your city to flip. That's not how that works, unfortunately. Um, your 40 cities with the lowest loyalty will flip. Does not matter if the loyalty is positive. It's just the lowest 40%, no matter what you do. Bum, 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 bum. Taking over Mohenjo Daro. We're up to 450 culture per turn. Probably will declare war on Peter at some point in the future to cripple his culture. Alright. Thank you so much, Vindicure. Do you think you'll ever try out any of the Witcher maps mod civs? Not sure if you're a fan of that franchise or not. I've already made mod spotlights on the majority of the civs in that pack, actually, believe it or not. I can't believe it's not potato. I have already done the thing that you are requesting that I do. Cores and armies are stronger, require less maintenance. I don't think I have them unlocked yet, sadly. Oh, I do, but I could. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We have not yet crossed that bridge. We have not come to it yet. Uh, do you think you'll... How are you? First I've seen... Li first live stream I've joined. Thank you so much, Connor. Appreciate you. Good to see you, bud. It's always five o'clock somewhere. You're not wrong. Um, although I do not endorse alcoholism. Bum, 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 bum. I don't remember if it rounds up or down for the cities. Hopefully down, because down would be in my favor. Down would be nice for me. But I live with it regardless. I fecked it up once again. I'm a scuttering rogue. Actually, do you know what would be cool? To liberate India. I'm kind of okay with this. Another person to generate loyalty or tourism pressure against. Based. Where is conservation, dude? Let's research fascism. So that we can conserve our environment. Because I need conservation, and I'm hoping that fascism leads to it. There we go. We fixed it, I think. Yes, okay, we did fix it. You are in position. about to enter into a very dangerous time for my empire, but we should be able to survive. Cheaper units with gold, with production rather, and 100% production towards cultural city-states. Have you met all the saves yet? I have not yet met all the saves, but I haven't hit my cultural zenith. So it doesn't matter if I haven't met the saves. Okay. <sighs> the battle for Canada has begun. Let's have a look. 
Horse and Jockey went independent. Uh, Kieran's Inch went independent. As did Native Land. All things considered, it could have been a lot worse. Now, can we just take this city in a single turn? Okay. Uh, we'll get a little bit of stuff going here. We got a bombard. Um, okay. Make sure we get a little bit of crossbow action. A little bit of crossbow action. Fall back, bombard action, fall back. Trade with Cardiff, that works for me. In Dramatic Ages mode, do you ever just settle a city right before Dark Age so you know it'll be one of the cities to rebel? That's actually not a bad strategy. Um, it's not a bad move, all things considered. Jesus, that damage we just took. Um, blast this kid into the brain. Can I sell you stuff? I need to know where the anti-flood stuff is too, in here. None of these texts are super important. I think we just research economics. Now I'm going to research steam power because it leads to... Sorry, ballistics because it leads to two texts. It also gives me field cannon upgrades. Continue to make those. Was Dixboro an actual game name or was it one of ours? One of ours. <sighs> oh, I'm yawning. I'm getting tired here, lads. It's a long old day. Unfortunately, we only have two two hours to try and finish this game. I think we can win this, though. Our culture is insane. Do 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 do. -do.
Right, we're getting work done. Sometimes it helps to get through a boring day. What does? Ballybunion sounds like it belongs in Sasquatchan. Saskatchewan? Sasquatchan. Sasquatchin? <laughs> National History Museum, feeling pretty good about that. Let's get some knights. I'm pretty hungry. Oh, the hunger is kicking in. And it won't be long now. Thought I met a girl to rock your world, now you still gotta go. Oh. Oh man, we're almost up to 500 culture per turn. How can one civilization be so based? Oh, you're based. 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 Or belong to us. It's time to renew our open borders. Let's start with Hungary at the top of the list. We'll work our way down. And rule with an iron fist. We gotta get these open borders. Open borders are an important part of the game. The reason we want the open borders is because they give us a 25% tourism boost. And of course, this is a tourism game because we are playing Canada in an entirely tundra map, which is a very fun thing to be doing. There we are. Oh, I didn't mean to denounce you. I did not mean it, so I didn't. He's dead, Jim. There's the bank and totalitarianism. Conservation! Oh my god. Please. Activate my almonds. My almonds must be activated. Does anyone have activated almonds in chat? Share your almonds. So there's some new witches that came out. Not sure you played Henselt the Tundra one, but on the Tundra map it's pretty insane. I think I've played Henselt. <laughs> I need to help him out by liberating his empire. If only the entire map is floodplains and marsh, that would be interesting. It can happen. That's the that's the power of chaos mode, dude. It can it can happen. All right. Let's eat that soul. You move to there. You blast blast this guy. You step back for a heal. You blast Kirwan's inch, you consume his soul, you step to here, you stand there, you go there. Oh, I'm getting hungry. The hunger is coming. All right, let's blast Gle Guelph. Uh, 
we have a Kanite. Send it to the east. Make another boom bard. We have a horseman we can send to the south. Um, let's start making builders to start fill the land in. We have conservation. It's going to be a big moment for us. Uh, yep. Yeah. Go ahead and blast him. You're in range of native land. Oh, this is flipping to me. Seven turns. I don't need to fight it. Okay. Four, four tiles. Cheater. What? What are you talking about? Favorite Irish bands. Um, I really like the cranberries. I like you two. You two are good. Favorite? I liked the Coronas. No, not the Coronas. Was it the Coronas? We drink all day. We sleep all night. We are not wasting our time. Might have been the Coronas. My Corona. My, my, my. It's not, I know, I'm mixing two things together, I know. It's, it's, it's kind of my thing. What's up, buds? Oh man, this is going to be the moment that we've been... So Mounties are a modern era class unit, which means we need to have a card to build them faster, which I believe comes later in the deck. Does anyone remember what the card is called? There it is. Lightning Warfare. We need ideology next. So that we can produce the Mountie in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, you can get Mounties at turn 60 speed in multiplayer. Hashtag late. Uh, yeah, but in multiplayer, you play with a completely different balance. And you're not playing against Deity AI who have like huge advantages. So, pff, shut up. Also, who the fuck asked? I didn't see a single asker in chat, okay? Name the asker, and I'll show you, a, I'll, I'll call you a liar. You're not playing with DD AI, says the guy who made a Tundra only map. I didn't make a Tundra only map. It was completely random, and the first one we re-rolled. Re you can go back to the start of the, the, the Twitch VOD, and you could see that this was completely random. I randomed Canada, and I randomed the map. And I'm also not trying to optimize to win the game. I'm just having fun. We're just chilling, dude. Get me a night for the fight. We got an art museum. <laughs> Are you casting CCC the weekend of 24th, 26th? Uh, no, I'm hanging out with your mom. Got him. Fucking got him, boys. He got absolutely obliterated. Come on, man. I am the jukebox. Happy Paddy, Paddy Days. The cost of a bounty doesn't go up at each purchase. Correct. There's conservation. It is mounty time. 
any mounters. Any mounters in chat? Let's get planting. It's time to plant the woods. Let's get ranting. It's time to plant the woods. Let's get planting. It's a land of plenty of planting. Flips in four turns. Earth go goddess is giga based and sieve. No sub two hundred. Shameless. I wasn't. I wasn't trying to win a sub two hundred. In order for something to be a shame, I had to have been trying to do it. What was the name of this? Kieran's Inch? Boom. Now it's Kieran's Fortress. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope the time away was restful. Uh, it was the opposite of restful, actually. It was incredibly... Uh, active. But... It was a wonderful time. I had an amazing time meeting all the people at Firaxis. Um, even though I was watched like a hawk by two very friendly men um, whose entire job was to make sure that I didn't go missing <laughs> and sneak into the back rooms and like steal software. Um, which, by the way, if you need someone to do corporate espionage, if you need a really friendly Irish guy, go hit me up. Yes, there was two counter spies on me the entire time I was in Firaxis. <laughs> Which is fair enough, right? Like this, it was the first time that they ever, I think, like gave a, a a creator, like someone who doesn't work there, like such access to the studio. Like I, I was almost able to go basically anywhere. Certain things I couldn't take pictures of. Um. In case there was like sensitive company data in it, but like, I I basically just wherever like, if I wanted to go somewhere, I could be like, can we go there? And they would be like, yeah, sure. Um. So it was like super based. Giga based, one might say. Did they fly you biz or econ? Uh, this is a normal flight. I'm not like a celebrity. I'm not above flying like a normal flight, you know what I mean? Things are expensive regardless. And from my perspective, I want them to not only I want them to have me back again and I want them to have other creators come. So I'm like, I'm totally down. They want to just fly me econ? If that means I do more trips, I'm down. That's cool. I mean, you are in the world of Civ. Shush. Maybe a little bit, but not... Not that much. Where's all this pressure coming from? What the hell? How are you minus 20 pressure? Where could this possibly be coming from? There's barely any local pressure. Shh, 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 shh. 
What are the offices like? Have you already spoken about it? I'm going to be working on some videos where I'll go over them in detail. We'll have f potentially footage and pictures, but it's basically like a giant nerd cave. Um, they got all kinds of cool like board games. They got like video games everywhere. They got like a foosball table. It's just really cool stuff. Um, Villains. Very, very cool. Very fun to visit. And I want to go back. I want to go back. We need to go back. My god. Nerd Cave is an accurate description. There's even a potato plushie. That's true. It's like a gigantic nerd cave. Um, it was sick as hell. Uh, also, the people at Firaxis, they're like, they're like my favorite kind of humans. They're all super interesting and interested, right? They're happy to talk to you about things. They just want to, you know, anime... Board games, video games, it did not matter. People were just happy to be chatting and having a good time. Everyone was super social. Uh, everyone was super friendly. Everyone was super clever too. That's the thing that that's the thing that really blew me away. Is like everyone at Firaxis. Um, I, f I never felt like I was the smartest guy in the room when I was there. Um, I never even felt close like to the middle of this intelligence in the room. Uh, they're all like super talented and experienced too, like at what they do. Like even the the production team, the guys who were doing like the video stuff, all those guys were like super on point, super in tune, and uh, super friendly too. So proud of you for making it into the big leagues, dude! It was insane that I got to go. I not really sure how to think or feel about it, but it happened. It's gonna blow my mind. Listen, I know I'm awesome, okay? It was bound to happen eventually. How could you not have potato? Dude, Firaxis had me over for a sleepover. Oh my god, you're right. That's a good way to describe it. <laughs> Can potato come over for a sleepover? We'll talk to business. We'll talk to legal about the uh, sleepover. What other creators were there? Dude, it was just me. I was the, I'm the guinea pig, which is why I did my utmost to be as professional as possible while I was inside the building. Now, when we were outside the building, I was talking about D&D. I was talking about nerd stuff. I was cracking jokes. But inside that building, that's when the professional stuff happens. When we're talking about Civ all day, all, every day. Once we're outside that building or it's lunchtime, we could get a little bit more. You can hang a little loose, you know. You know how it is. Ooh. Is India in a golden age? Uh, no, no one's in a golden age. We're all in bad ages. Which is basically every age after 30. <laughs> Do, 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 do. What opinions did you voice to them? Uh, I didn't really express many opinions. And I think, like, they read the forums and they watch my videos. They know what I think about things. Those are fucking machine guns. So, like, if people have talked about it, they probably know it. In the community, I mean. Like, if anyone has talked about literally anything, they, they probably know. Um, they are paying attention. They're always watching you. So be good for goodness sake. You hear that chat? Carl's always watching. See? He's right there. He just said it.
India gone again. I know, I know they're dead. There's nothing we can do. Look, there's no point in reviving them anymore. I think we just let we let let sleeping dogs die. Let dying dogs die. Something. Uh, where am I going? We I we had the the funniest interview I had was with um a QA person and a production person. Oh my god. <laughs> the production guy who was behind the camera, um, at certain points, he was like suppressing his laughter so insufficiently that I could like see him moving out of the corner of my eyes behind the camera. And that like that would set me off. We that was probably the funniest interview. Um because the combination I don't want to say who they are yet until we like actually like until the video gets approved. But the combination of those two people uh, made it near impossible for me to keep a straight face during that interview. <laughs> it was just the both of them were just very silly, very silly people um, on a personal level. Very professional, obviously, um, but they were having a good time in that interview. And uh I really hope I can release that video because it was fucking hilarious. It sounds like we need a gag reel. That entire interview was a gag reel, dude. <laughs> That's why I'm worried that they won't let, they won't release it. <laughs> what a great! Um, that was a fantastic interview. I was like, perfect too because it was like the last thing I did before I left. So I left on like a super high, like giggly note. Do you think you would ever work for Firaxis as a playtester? I would actually be super down. Now that I've been to Firaxis, I would be super happy to work. Like, if, if YouTubing ever fell through, I would apply as a QA, for sure. Um, I think I would be pretty happy to work there. Um, but yeah, I'd be super happy to do... Uh, they'd find a job for me, I think. My experience, my knowledge of social media and the game itself, the brand, I think I would I would be like a great employee, I think. Like a great person or even a consultant, you know what I mean? Where are the mountains? Okay, enough chit chat. Let's talk about the impending collapse of the financial sector. So, actually, I haven't been keeping up with that. But as far as I could tell, it just looks like there's a little bit of wibbly wobbly and it's nothing too big. Have you guys heard have you guys heard otherwise? I thought it was one bank collapsed, which is, you know, a nightmare for people who work in the banking sector, of course. I met a guy who works in the banking sector um, on my trip to Seattle. He was a nice guy. He was a super, super nice guy. He gave us a tour of Seattle. He walked us around. He showed us like Amazon stuff. He showed us all kinds of cool things. Um, super nice guy. Uh, super fun to talk to. Really knowledgeable. And uh, I think he did an interview for the BBC while we were there. Actually, it was one investor bank in the direct, direct result of a cha recent change in American policy. I thought it was a very specific bank that operated outside of the normal rules um, because of loopholes.
Three banks in the US and now Credit Suisse just got bailed out. Well, that sounds a little bit more scary. But these are just financial shocks, right? Surely when you bail out a bank, we should own that bank. You know what I mean? Like, if you fuck up, I can't, you know... Listen, I don't know much. But, like, I, I don't know what those deals actually look like. But surely, you don't just get to keep doing what you were doing, right? You, things have to change after you... You get bailed out, right? 4% of retail customers had under 250k in savings compared to the huge ones like Wells Fargo. The Fed owns them now. Okay. All right. Great. So they messed up. We take on their debt so that we can keep the system going. All right. That makes sense. All right. That, that, that seems a little less crazy to me. So that seems that seems reasonable. Also, first uh, national parks are coming online. Economically, bank bailouts are a bad thing. Are they worse than not bailing out the bank, though? That's the thing. Is it worse than not bailing out the bank? It might be a bad thing. I can just grant you that. But it seems like it's a hell of a lot better than not doing it. Bad business decisions get supported. Internal rock continues to increase. Hey! Vote different. If they fail, we should fix the system, not give them a pass. I don't think... Listen. Let's, I'm, we're not going to get into politics, but I'm just going to say... It's not the towering sales, but the unseen... <clears throat> it wasn't this president that rolled back the financial sector uh, regulations, okay? It wasn't this guy. It was a different guy. I'm not going to say who that was. I'm just saying. Maybe you should think about who's, in, who's the president. Maybe you should think about who's in Congress. Maybe you should think about who brought in those, those banking reforms, eh? Well, think about that. It's really funny how when the uh, when the presidency changes hands, there's like a massive crisis. Anyone ever noticed that? <laughs> you know, just every time that it changes hands, there's like this massive crisis. It's just funny. I just something I noticed. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, that's enough politics for today. I'm uh, I'm uh, getting trouble. For talking about things I don't know very well. The election system isn't rigged.
Let's go back to training, retraining the AI to take our jobs. True. New frontiers of the Do you have a favorite Civ music theme? Mine is Ethiopia. I honestly, because I record videos for YouTube, I stopped listening to the Civ music years ago. Mysteries long tolerated are closer than ever to um, because typically the artist or a third party retains the rights to the music, which means every time you make a video uh, in Civ, uh, the music gets claimed. Really unfortunate. You chose the sunny ways. Wilfred Laurier, and made cheerfulness and courtesy the character of the Canadian people. Where others look to divide and sow mistrust, you inspire cooperation. And You're allowed to have an opinion because you're not an American and we trust. A unified people the music for Scotland is pretty good, I agree. I think most of the songs are really good. Why isn't the flooding showing? Hold on, I need to restart my game so the flood... Or is this a bug with the inland stuff? Okay, a t huge chunk of my empire is flooded. Do, 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 do. How do I see flood? Yeah. Um, hold on. I'm going to restart my game real quick. Restarting my game I am. Prepare your ears. Lower your volume quickly. I'll mute it, don't worry. I'm just kidding. See how good of a friend I am? That I muted for you. <laughs> Waltzing Matilda, waltzing. Potato is a little piggy. Your mom's a little piggy. New frontiers of discovery expand our understanding from the tiny atom to the majesty of outer space. Mysteries long I was excited for Beyond Earth, but it was a letdown. Beyond Earth was a slight disappointment. I think actually it's it could have been good. use this knowledge and push back the greatest darkness we have yet faced. You chose the sunny ways, Wilfred. Huh, okay. I guess it just doesn't show. Alright. Um. Oh, here we go. Now it's showing it. There we go. Okay, yeah, so restarting the game. Gets it to show. So. Jesus. What did you like about Beyond Earth? I think a lot of the innovations that Beyond Earth was successful at were incorporated into Civilization VI, like traders, um, getting traders per city, um, traders getting really powerful. Beyond Earth is amazing. Fraxis gave up on it too fast. I think the tech web thing was a bit of a failure. There's a few things that went wrong. Um... You know. Culture victory, culture victory. Uh, 
Yeah, this, this, this honestly, this, 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 this is unplayable. <laughs> but I don't know how I'm still going. What the fuck is happening to my empire? This is unplayable chaos. And yet, here I am again on my own. Going down the only road. This is, I've just I'm just gonna it's not gonna look at this side of the empire anymore. This is dramatic ages, chaotic map. Uh, just everything is random, basically. Is this modded to use a bigger than normal map? No, it's just a huge map, big one. This is a big map. This is a normal big map. You could be a big map too. Ooh. Horse and jockey, the city of Napa. Hello. We built a mountie over here and we'll do it again. My empire's underwater by Apocalypse mode coastal flooding. Quote unquote coastal flooding. That's right. So I said it's a chaos game. You never know what'll happen to ya in a chaotic game. Three hundred tourism per turn, not bad. Have I met everyone? I wonder. Hmm. Still missing two. Some people have died. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not nine, still. ten. Two people have died. Boo 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 boo. Plug in that card for a little bit of extra tourism. 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 Grand tourism. Keep the bounties coming. Boo 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 boo. Does this actually make tourism? Oh shit, it does. Based. Based. All oh, your based. 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 All oh, your based. Are belong to us. All oh, your based. I belong to us. Try to make it work, 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 work. I try to make it work, 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 work. Kill that city. Kill that city. I got it so hard to navigate the screen right now. We keep this. Caracas. We might go for that too. Steal a couple cities. Potatoes. Ten dollars and zero cents. So potato. 
I just saw that there are 36 million Irish descendants in the US. 620% of Ireland's population. Are you one of the Irish who gets mad at Americans claiming to be Irish or not? No, I actually embrace my uh, Irish brothers from across the waves. Um, and they are more than welcome inside my domain. Inside my uh, my heart. Um, they are a part of my heritage and I'm a part of their heritage. And so we are kin. And hopefully friends. I think it's cringe that people shit on them. That's my hot take. They're just people who feel connected to their ancestral homeland because they think it's fun. Now, there are people that take it too far, okay? See those guys in Boston who go out with the signs and be real racist. Those guys, not cool. Thumbs down. Thumbs down those guys. I think it's just, you know, but I also don't begrudge people who hate them or who make fun of them because it's just a, it's a simple little basic talking point that you can go over. It's one of those simple little conversations that people can do. Uh, it doesn't take very much investment. So I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel like very particularly, you know, I'm not, I don't care. Basically, I'm, what I'm saying is I don't care. Um, Giga chat emoji. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I didn't know you could mouse over the minimap and actually see what these city states were. That's kind of handy, actually. Thank you, Chatter, for giving me that tip. Tip, 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 m'lady. Tip. <laughs> Chicago dies to River Green. Very fun. I think it's cool. It's cool. It's fine by me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 400 tourism per turn. I might kill Venice. Feeling cute later. Might destroy a city. Or feeling cute might destroy a city later. Sorry, that's what I was trying to say. He fucked up the meme. This map is awful and I hate it. I want my life back. From this game. Bum 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 For that it is not on this map baby oh baby a triple oh baby a triple 
Oh, baby, a triple. So, little Mountie over here is doing the job. Go ahead and fortify. Don't have any more work for you. You have two national parks still inside you, so let's go ahead and send you down to the south. Perhaps we can do that. You're just fortified there. There's no real use out of you. Next good turn. Okay, yeah, we will go ahead and grab ourselves a national park there. That feels pretty good. Uh, if I could squeeze out a few more national parks, we'd be very happy. We're up to 500 tourism per turn. That will also continue to expand. Uh, did you do any encampment engineers? Uh, no, I didn't actually. Oops. Uh, let's go to the capital. Let's immediately get ourselves an encampment on... None of the tiles are valid. Can I take a tile? Take a tile, give a tile. Take a book, give a book. <laughs> take a look. It's in a book. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> An AI actually stole stupids from you. Uh, well, aren't, don't you feel stupid? Um. <laughs> 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 Where are my Mountie bros? Where's my Mounties? Why do I like puns so much? Why am I this way? Listen, don't be ashamed of who you are, okay? Live your punniest life, dude. Don't be ashamed. Don't be acclaimed. I have no use for the builder inside Nobber. And so I should not do it. Oh, God. I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm real sick of this game. <laughs> like this particular, this particular one. Not the game itself, but this, this game. <laughs> This one right now that I'm playing is a lot. It's just a lot, dude. Hurry up and win. I'm trying! Fucking rushes in the game. Ruining my buzz. Apparently, I can send a highlighted message. Thank you. It's a tradition. Kill this guy and take the settler. Who's doing red face? Blue face is the best one. I will hear no other discussion on the topic. We're just normal men. We're just normal men. We're just normal men. We're just normal men. Entertainment complex, eh? Speak for yourself. 
we're just normal. Dude, I am so hungry. Oh. I don't know how much longer I'm going to last, boys. Das hunger is comed. Fanny's town. Fanny's town. Let's give this over to Blue Ball. Blue ball, take the mountain too. Turn that into something useful. Um, there you go, my old friend. How many saves haven't you met yet? Two. Let's steal these tiles for the national park that we want to build. So many national parks. It's a really fun way to play Canada, I gotta say. All that green stuff is national parks. Oh boy. A tank pizza? What the f is a tank pizza? Did Potato visit any national parks in America? Un unfortunately not. I didn't have much time for stuff. I wanted to go see the Cascades, but the train was all messed up or something. Um, when I was in Seattle, I would have loved to have gone out east and seen all that crazy, cool stuff that was there. Um, but we did, we couldn't make it work, sadly. Um, but that's that's life. Uh, I will go back to Seattle, I think. One day. random thought um now that I'm uh now that I have cloud on the internet occasionally I will get attractive people messaging me and uh I've realized that they are, a lot of them are incredibly boring conversationalists because <laughs> they've always expected other people to do the heavy lifting. <laughs> okay, sorry. <sighs> Just came to mind there because I got a message the other day. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Listen, <clears throat> I'm talking about your mom. Saying your mom's attractive. Um, but yeah, so usually when I am chatting with somebody, I will do like reciprocal investment into the conversation. If I'm like sending you a paragraph and you're sending me like a one word reply, you're getting one word replies. Um, if you're asking me like, how is my day? I will try to steer the conversation in a more interesting direction. I will tell you about my day, but then I'll tell you something funny too. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know.
Some people, they just, uh... I don't know. It's not good at the old conversation. Never had to be. Is Potato talking about his dating life? I, no, I'm talking about the parasocial dating life. Um... Which is when boring people are only interested in me because I am a YouTuber. Send me messages. 99, 95% of you guys are chill. I feel like asking... Your, yes, ask, asking how was your day is a great conversational opener. The follow-up that you give to what how I respond, that's going to be... Like, if you ask me how my day is, and I give you a really detailed answer, and you're like, lol, I went shopping with my friends, you're getting blocked. I'm sorry. Five dollars and zero cents. Honestly, you don't need to see the PNW. Aside from the mountains, it's identical to the Ring of Kerry. You gotta go to, like, the Southwest or Rockies. I was going to say almost all of you are fine, but I I know some of you guys, okay? Right? That's why I dialed back from 99 to 95%. As a Pacific Nor Northwest resident, listen, it's a very small minority of people who are this boring. 95% um, of people I've met are super happy, super go lucky, super friendly. Morbid's bringing down the average, true. As long as you don't smell weird and you leave your house regularly, you're A-OK -okay in my books. <laughs> oh, fuck. One out of two, ain't bad. <laughs> You're not that. Come on, guys. Don't be self-deprecating. You're all Giga Chads in here. Define regularly. Like... Leaving your house isn't an event. It's just something that you do... Like going to work or going to the shop. Leaving my house is an event for me, Potato. Stop events planning. Listen. I'm just saying. How often does he actually think we leave our houses? I think you guys are pretty active. You guys, you guys are hip and young. Come on now. You go to work. You go shopping. You do all that sort of stuff. You hang out with your buds whenever you can. If I lived in a walkable city, I'd leave my apartment more. That's fair. If you got reasons... Here's the thing, if you've got reasons to not leave your house, it makes sense, right? Like valid reasons, like, hey, there's nothing around for me to do. So I just sit at home online, hanging out with buds. It's totally cool. You got like agoraphobia or you're, you know, a little nervous about going outside. That's fine too. You're good. But if you're just like, I don't want to, I don't want to go outside. I don't want to. Boring. Sorry. I'm being mean. 
What about I'm lazy? Mm, no, not valid. I'm la laziness is not a valid excuse. I'm sorry. They made grocery shopping into a delivery service. What reason is... Dude! This shit is supposed to replace the unnecessary... The, ne the necessary journeys so that you can take part in, like, the cool ones. Get out of your house! Sometimes. <laughs> Not every day, just sometimes. On a regular basis. Go play bowling or something, you know? Do a LAN party. I recommend it. Brush your teeth and leave your house, right? It's not that hard. You have little demon children? See, that's a valid excuse. If you have demon children, shop online. 100%. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting too hungry to continue playing, I think. Can we just declare me the winner? I got 600 culture and like... 700 tourism. I'm so hungry, dude. Depression, trauma, and disabilities can make it difficult to leave one's residence. Those are valid reasons. If your reason is, I just don't want to, it's not a good reason. Whew. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can continue playing this. I gotta go get, I gotta go get something to eat. The hunger is a little much. Alright, I'm going to declare this a win. I am ahead of most civs technologically. I'm triple Russia's culture. I got like 700 tourism. I'm too hungry to continue. If you can get it to tell you X turns till victory. This is a really fun game though. It's super fun. GG. My reason is I don't want to deal with people. It's not a good reason. People are good. Come back after food? No, I'm gonna go... Go do some more work. I got videos to release tonight. I gotta do my first impression video. And, uh... I gotta get a hot date with your mom tonight. Mwah. Alright, catch you guys later. Let me find someone to raid. Raid someone? Twitch? Hey. It's not who I meant to raid. Oh, Nilesy's streaming! Nilesy! He's playing Dead Space. We could, we, we could, we could host him. Let's have a look. Uh, who's streaming Civ Six? Civ Six on such an auspicious day. Go on, Nilesy. We'll, we'll raid Nilesy. I mean, I'm not going to remove it from that other YouTube channel, so. It's called The Final Chronicles, you can go and watch it. I'm pretty proud of it. It was, uh, it's a short film about this guy. Alright, I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Um, finds a loophole.